Hey, welcome to Vice Grip Lodge, and I guess Vice Grip Garage. In a sense. Yeah. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Yes, we do this thing uh, over here too, because we have stuff that we do a lot that's just not automotive related, and we wanted that to go somewhere. So here we are. Yeah. Um, a real quick explanation, and I'll probably have to repeat this a few different times, but there goes Jessica's phone. Sorry. Oh, didn't even make it three minutes. Yeah. Um, we're not having the regular Friday video over at Vice Grip Garage, so I figured we'd do this just so we could have some sort of hangout. I know a lot of you, and thank you so much. It's become a part of your routine, and that's just mind-bottling to even think of. Look at this knife. I'm still using it. People are saying oh, it's man. fish eye view. Oh, yeah, it kind of is. Yeah, that's because it's 1080p. I gave you 360 potatoes, and it'll be straight, but then you ain't going to see nothing. So it, here we are. So anyway, messed my foot up a little bit, uh, so I wasn't able to record anything um, this week. I'm just trying to stay off of it so it heals faster. And trust me, I'm still hobbling around trying to get stuff done around the yard, and, you know, someone's yelling at me. Quite oh, a bit. you're supposed to stay off it. Jessica's nice proud of these shirts. We better show. Oh yeah, I love them. <laughs> yeah. Did you say something? Yeah, I, I think, knew they would. Ha, I, think, I told you. I think one person said. I'm sure it's yeah. way more than one person, but it's okay. So, and then let's get this out of the way. The camera is what the camera is. The lighting is what the lighting is, and the sound is what the sound is. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just the way she's gonna go. Um. So what we're what we're wanting to do, I think is uh just start opening some mail mm -hmm. we've been accumulating it long, for quite long. some time and um, it's actually been august of 2022 i believe was the last time that we did one of these was just that long yeah jessica's mm -hmm. looking at the comments guys. yes i'm just trying to check um, down here so i don't miss this well i probably miss a lot but i'm just trying to yeah i don't I, I don't know What's happening? Okay. Yeah, so are those the I guess These are the scroller. comments right here. Oh, it's, why is it so scrolling? It's so we can read them. <laughs> oh. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, I'm gonna go in and I think I can go in here and turn slow chat on for you guys, maybe just a little bit, so you guys can kind of see a little bit more of what's going on. Yeah. I don't know how YouTube works. I'm just gonna be honest here. Uh, nope, can't do that on lives. That's right. I keep forgetting that. That's a year. Huh? Spend ten dollars. Oh, well, thank you I'm so sorry much. Put your name on it. Thank you. That was really kind. Yeah, I that's like kind of. Have to do that at all? Yeah, don't. Um, if you guys have a couple extra dollars to spare, find a good charity and send it over to them. Yeah. Um, that would be awesome. But thank you. You know, we never ask for any of that stuff. But thank you so much. We appreciate it. Um. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and just dig in and start opening some stuff. we got a lot to get through. Some yes! Of this, and some of this has been pre screened, but it's been so long, I don't remember what. And there's a lot that has not been opened. So. Charles Barham from Millington, Tennessee. I'm going to try to not show any addresses here, so I'm kind of spinning some stuff around as much as possible. Looks like we got we got some posterage. The command chairs. Tickets. Oh, I'm, oh, that's good. Yeah. It's a Kentucky Headhunter. So I think this is a seller we talked to. I I had joked in one of our videos. I asked what the headhunters were doing, and they sent a fun video. I think one of yeah. them was wearing a vice grip shirt. A headlamp. That's super handy. Another headlamp. Do I not see in the dark? I must not, I guess. There you go. Yeah, people typically don't see in the dark, so. No, that's true. We just had this conversation at dinner. <laughs> Literally, yeah. One of our boys said, how come when it's night, I can't see out of my eyes? <laughs> well, this is sweet. You got me some headhunter shirts. Real life story. I had their cassette tape when I was probably, I don't know, eight, ten years old. You want to stack it over here, son? Milkman. His, my mom's jam. <laughs> The come here, son. Say hi, really quick. Just like Benjamin's helping out. Yeah. Um, the camera might wobble every now and then because, well, we're just using an old laptop. You should see yeah. this thing. Looks like an alien ship with mm -hmm. lights and doodabs hanging off of it. So if I do this, oh gosh, it 
it does that on the it does that on that thing there too so all right next one. Oh yeah we're doing something aren't we? i don't think that one's been opened all yet brandon bosley he sends you 50 dollars. oh my goodness brandon i always love seeing you guys post video never caught you alive though here's something to wet the back of your neck well cheers buddy. Thank, thank you, you so much, much. Mm. This one's from Derek Beery Vice Grip Garage from Yakima, Washington to Derek Beery. What? <laughs> it does say that. I it? think I traveled to the future. And you know, it's like, like a car part or something you order yourself. Oh, yes. Pens. Lots of pens. Pens. And, oh, I remember this feller. This is really cool. I got to show you this. He's a, I believe he's a locksmith. Well, he would be handy to have around. Oh, wow. These keys will literally work on any kind of 60s or 70s GM. I was going to say, this actually this I, looks like the Kita Longmire. Oh, a BLPC, really. So I, I call them jiggler keys because you just grab one. No, that one didn't work. And you grab another one. And if that one doesn't work, you just keep going. There's 120 in here. So now I can carry these on revivals if I don't got a key. You're going to go through 120 keys trying to get one to work? Absolutely. Have you ever tried to lay under a dash and change an ignition? This guy has. All right. Then we got some pens. Yeah, key master lock and key. Well, thank you so much. That was very, very kind of you. Next one. Um, we don't have our admin set up in here yet, but James is in here. Hi, James. Oh, hey, James. Yeah, we haven't, uh, we've never really done anything. I know. I, I don't even think I am set up as an admin on this one yet. So, I have to play guitar sometime mm -hmm. for Christmas. Yeah, maybe so. We can maybe do that. Michael Cooper, because of you, I've done a lot of work in my own cars now. Yes. That's great news. Congratulations. That's awesome. There's James, he's one of our moderators in the play script garage. Yes. He does a wonderful job for us. This is from it's blank. No, literally says from. Oh, here we go. There's no name. It just says Newborough, New York. This is like really packaged. Oh wait, is that the name on that side? No, it's just another it's just address. The address and oh. there's a blank here. They really want to know. So if you sent this toboggan looking thing from Newborough, <laughs> thank you so much. Maybe there's a note in here somewhere. Hope everybody's doing good. Hope everybody had a fantastic Easter. Yeah. We ate too much. And yeah, most importantly got to see some family. Maybe get to some arguments with them. I don't I don't know what, what you look. I can't even get this open. That's what I said. It's like so packaged. Must be some sort of like uranium in here or something. What are we? What are we looking at? Is this a sign? I I don't know. I'm gonna need a nap here in a couple minutes if we don't finish this out. Hey, oh, I missed a feller. He said he had at least one turkey. That's pretty good. I want your shirt? Yeah, see, I really love their shirts. Patty, I think she, I think she got them on. Uh, I did. Jungle I just got website. them on Amazon. <laughs> oh, this looks like a big block Chevrolet intake gasket. Yes, it's a big block Chevrolet intake gasket. Well, thank you so much, uh, New Newburg or New Burrow, New York, for the gaskets. Oh, there's a few of our regulars in here norm is in here hi norm chad william is in here waffles the clown thank you so much appreciate that a ton david penwell thank you appreciate you very much here's a good question uh, are you still working on the race truck yes um i've i've had to do nothing the last, this week but i think tomorrow or sunday i may get back out and just um uh, line like a wheel myself around in a chair and uh I might be able to get some more work done on that race truck. We still plan on having it in, in Indianapolis. Mm -hmm. In about three weeks. And I suppose that would be whether I'm 
racing it or not. We're going to try to have it there. Can you open that thing if yeah. you are? We got some Walmart bags. Oh, that's. Oh, I thought you were looking at these. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> All big dips. Cute. Look at this. Spice. Oh, the V got snapped. Oh, is it in that box? I bet it is. We can maybe glue that yeah. on. Vice a... Grip Garage. But watch this. But watch. But watch this. Okay, maybe it doesn't. I thought maybe it came off. Oh, it goes on top. There you go. That's cute. Did you and find it in there? I bet it's got to be in there somewhere. The guy made wood. Vice, these are wood sellers. Right, sell he us. says. Wow. Through the Vice Grip Group. I'm Dale Rose from Greeley, Colorado. For a hobby, I make nameplates. I thought of you when watching you, watching your YouTube videos. I hope you enjoy them. Dale Rose. That's cute. That's really, really nice. That's going to have to definitely go on the, the old shelf in the office. Yeah. Oh, there's even more of them. Oh. Independent Chevelle. Yeah, I love the, the like color on Great it. Great work. Yeah, it's not. Uh, it's gotta be. It's in there. We'll, we'll look for yeah, it there. Yeah. Oh, Bentley. Ben, Bentley. <laughs> Come grab it. Come over here and say thank you. Oh, Mr. You Bale, wave? Thank you. Thank you. Give him a wave. That's so cute. <laughs> Put that up in your room on your shelf. That's so cool. So cute. You guys are so kind. It's incredible. Amazing. All right, throw me another one. Um, so I missed this guy's email. He sent the, the guitar cigar box one. Or no, the other one. The other one. We okay. we did get it. Yes, thank you very much. Um, in fact, we almost used it in a, in a Jeep commercial that they did. Yeah. Thank. It's really it is really very rad. cool. It is very very. Cool. I wonder. Are they, can we get to it? Or it's up in that in other room right now. Yeah. I'll put it away so it wouldn't get messed with. This is from Derek Stevens. What do we got? Oh. Back a zap. What's that? I think you put it in your back. <laughs> no, that can't be real. Uh, Salma Manella. Salma Manella free. Oh, it's a, it's a stink zapper. They'll do. You guys heard of this stuff? Nope. Back as that? Well, we're going to try it out. I'm going to tell you that much. Look at Brent Calhoun sends $9.99 to Bentley for working hard. Oh. That was sweet. Or to the little human, he said. Thank you, Derek Stevens from Fixer Automotive, Nampa, Idaho. Used to live there. Fun fact, we did live there. There you go. I could definitely use that in that Cadillac. Oof, the man. Uh, that Cadillac is beyond. You guys think we should bring Betty White back? We just need to get like new interior in it, and then I say new going to town for sure. Roger T Chief Tinkerer from Fayetteville, Georgia, sent this over. Funny thing, there's a, there's a Fayetteville in the border from state. So there is, and yeah, I learned that the hard way there. Day when I was going around trying to find somewhere, and I thought I called Fayetteville, Tennessee, and apparently I was calling Arkansas. Did not know it. What do we got going on? Tailgate Tinker. What a long letter. I will get to this, Roger, as soon as I can. It's got directions and all sorts of stuff, but it looks like a custom GoPro mount that goes on to an old For mount. GoPro Hero 11. With all of the doodabs and juices and this bracketry right here, which I assume he makes. Bracket yeah. was handmade just for you and a few other channels I watch and I expect. Oh, it's to access your batteries and card mm -hmm. without removing the handles or accessories, which is a bugger. So it makes a little window on the side so you can get to it. That's, That's really cute. Nice. That's cool. That was very thoughtful. Isn't it's, it like amazing? Like so many people just like think of you and like want to help you. I just think that so, so neat. Yeah. I would love to come overseas and do a car over there. Um, one of these days, 
It says our schedules are so crazy. I need Longhorns on Betty White. You know, we've talked about doing that, but it would look neat, but I just feel like everybody with a big Cadillac does that. So we just kind of want to be different and not do that. Yeah. it's. Uh, it would look cute, though. What do the kids say? Play it out. I just sprayed so it all over the it's fine. computer. Oh, can you give me a dish towel, buddy? Thank you. Yes. S. Leonard. Just saying there's a few more school teacher comments, so. Uh, I don't know about that. She loves making me wear certain t-shirts. Making you? You walked out of the shower wearing it. All on your own. All right. This is from, uh, I think I just said, S. Leonard. We got a sort of, oh my goodness. Speaking of Betty White. No way. Look at the back. You can put your, your logo and stuff on there. Cute. Look at the detail. That is incredible. I don't even understand. I love that he put like grass. Look at the, look. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Vanishing paint with the custom roof Mother rack and tires. Sandals. Betty White. Did you see that part? Yeah, underneath. And he's got some rigs. He's a Mopar fella. He put the dang tire rack on there. That's what I was just trying to tell you. Oh my goodness. That's so fun. Okay. And you put the that's cool. Let's see. So nice. I watched the channel all the time. You made two favorite his two favorites are Betty White and Vanish Paint. As long as a rust hole patch and a cold snap opener. So this must be him here. I don't know. It's just a buff from there. This is cool, though. Really nice bottle opener. Karate. I don't know if that's how you use them. But Definitely not. Not at all. I think that's his son's uh, truck. So I was reading that, right? Oh, my hair is like not. Let's wow. see. Uh, Bristol on dirt. This has been asked a couple times. We are definitely trying to get there. Mm -hmm. um, we've got some appointments next week that are going to dictate what I can and can't do. Yeah. We want to race terribly bad. And our friends Donnie and Chad at Volunteer Muffler have worked tirelessly day and night on the truck because yeah, I haven't yeah. had time. And I would hate to let them down too. And and uh, not be able to run, but we're going to do what we can. The problem is right now, I can't put my foot on my heel. It's Some people have asked, and I don't know if you've mentioned it, but it, it, it is his right foot. So it's his goal foot, and he can't do much with that right now. I've been having to drive him everywhere and just really do a lot for him, which is fine. But he just really has to take care of it and get healed up so that he is able to get to these events. And, yeah, the and huge the Scott, that's it. That's insane. Oh my. You don't need to do that. No, definitely not. Um, thank you. That's thank so you so fun. much. That's too much. Too incredible. Much. Very incredible. You'll uh, you'll see it. This is how we put it right back into the business. I promise yeah. you that. Speaking of, you're going to see um, on this channel, mm -hmm. Vice Grip Lodge, we've got a video coming about a plasma table. We've got a video coming about um, when we built the shop, a part of the what our plan was was getting a storm shelter. So we got a video of that coming in. Uh, we're finally, finally, finally getting a restroom in, which is something we have to do, um, especially with um, having some folks here for the Motor Trend Show, Love yep. Worthy Rescues. Um, I have to have a facility here for us. So there'll be a video coming out on that. There's a bunch of stuff. So if you're not subscribed yet, you should consider that, please. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Caleb H. Holy smokehouse. <laughs> Bentley. Yeah. Caleb says, you listen here, little feller, and you listen good. My son watches your content like I watch your dad. He's counting on you for new content. Take this money and put a bigger motor on that go-kart now. Your Wisconsin friend and his son. Do you want to give an update on the go-kart? Come here. Well, give an update. They just sent you $300, Bentley. Thank you. 
That's pretty cool. What do you tell them? Thank you. Give, come close to me for the microphone. Give us an update on the on the uh, go kart. Yeah, put in here, Daddy. What do you got going on? Where are we at with it? Uh, trying to order his parts, like live action and stuff. Yeah. What What issues are we having? Well, all the live action that we ordered, uh, the gear on it is the wrong size for the chain on the clutch. Yeah. You gotta the, order the right one. The sprocket size is different than the clutch size, which is different than the idle pulley mm -hmm. wheelie size. Mm -hmm. And then the axle that did fit doesn't have the right hub pattern for the tires that you bought. And, it's uh, been a mess. It's been a mess, <laughs> but he's very thankful. I promise you that. And we talk about his go kart. Maybe we can work on it Sunday a little bit. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Caleb. That's just That's crazy. Amazing. Blows me away. Yes. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, let's see. All right, we should probably do another one. Yeah. Hey, somebody says they like their mullet. <laughs> yeah. Daddy just like his dad, you know. All right. This is from Jeff Melchek. He's from Moncon Top, Maryland. That could be a thing. I'm not quite sure. I was hoping one of you would step in. Monk Top? Feels heavy and dangerous. Oh my goodness! We they just, are dangerous. We just became best friends. <laughs> you gotta, I don't think you can see what that really is. It's a whole pile. We updated our lighting for you guys, and now it's difficult now to show you stuff. Bright. They're uh, Milwaukee sawzall blades, which, with the amount of rusty tailpipes that cut off, is extremely helpful. So thank you very much. I think we got some stickers maybe. Guy can never have enough saws, all blades, had some extras and wanted to share. Thanks, Jeff. I really, really appreciate that a bunch. Yeah. yeah. Somebody is asking about me getting a race car or a burnout car. Yeah. So we're kind of thinking, not really thinking, but we're planning on turning the Jeskalade into, into something. That'll kind of be my build, I think. So. Stay tuned to hear some more on that. We actually have some really fun ideas coming up with that. Her, uh, her Escalade, which sounds fancy, is it's not fancy. Not. It's an old one with a bajillion miles. And quite frankly, I'm tired of putting transfer cases in front ends and wheel bearings. <laughs> There's and, everything wrong with so it. So I jokingly said one night, why don't we just put a Whipple supercharger on with some nitrous and we just run it off the track. And a set of her going, no. She's like, yep, that's well, order parts. So much, so yeah, we're actually planning on doing that pretty soon when we get some time. Yeah, time is always the same. <laughs> but I actually, um, I'll I'll give you guys a little bit more info on that. We actually have a really cool shirt coming out with the just delayed on it too. That will hopefully be out in the next few weeks. But um, just to kind of start some traction with that, yeah. that build and. She she's gonna take you know what you guys buy those shirts or whatever if you do or don't want to whatever but the funds from that will go right into her project mm -hmm. and she can start doing some. So Joseph just sent over a whole bunch of Massachusetts. We talked about this last time. Massachusetts is like trying to say we're just a shark sauce. We're we're It's not that hard. Worse your sauce. Okay. Okay. Thank you for all the floor patches. That ought to last a couple of days. Appreciate it very, very much. How far is the farthest you've traveled to get a car? Boy, I don't know. I have went from Minnesota to New York. I've gone from Minnesota to Texas. Um, the only thing I haven't done is a coast to coast. So I say I've, I've done the 15, 1600 mile treks pretty often. I would say that's probably, um, that's probably the farthest. I got some control on I got. I can't just sit on my foot to even try to be like your height. <laughs> well, eat some meatloaf. Get taller. Found these in a car that I bought to go to a GMA body. Regards, John. So I got some, some uh, actually, they're tie rod arms for an A body to control his own parts show. Thank you. 
Appreciate it very much. You got another shake and bake uh, shirt comment. Of course I did. Oh, yeah. Someone just awesome. reminded me the Arizona to to uh, Tennessee and Vanishing Paint. That was pretty far. That was. That was a really, actually, yeah. That was a haul. That for sure. Fun. Yes. Okay, yeah. Bring this. Uh, I apologize. You could probably hear me drinking violently because my microphone is in my throat. We just had this <coughs> conversation we were setting up. It was like dead silent, and I took the smallest sip of my water, but because it was so quiet in here, Derek said it sounded like I was what chewing is rocks with your throat. <laughs> <laughs> It did. It's like there's so little to see, but it sounds like <laughs> Jacob Hanneken. Hey guys, much love from Missouri. Thanks, Derek and family, for all the great content you put out there. Really helps a guy get through a rough day. This donation is to help a seller take his family out to dinner. Aww. Thank you very, very much. In fact, I will do that tomorrow night immediately. Thank you. Thank you. No, you're going to have your foot for a little bit longer, but when he's better, wow. then we will do that. Thank you. Expedient. Is what I was trying to get to. Don't um, use like hey, fancy the, words. Mr. Chad Stewart's in here. I don't know if that's the Chad Stewart we think is the Chad Stewart, but thank you so much. I appreciate that a ton. Do you guys ever him. get into a fight? Jessica and I don't fight ever. She looks at me the wrong way. It's she. Oh won't. no, I will put my foot down once in a while, but only when I really had it, you know. This one's interesting. We got some bent up license plates. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what? Okay. Wait a second. Oh, okay. What? We, we got, um, Boy. well, October Sky. <laughs> what? Well, it's a good movie. It's It's got Jake Gyllenhaal in it. And then we got The Rocketeer. I think that's also Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake, Jake Gyllenhaal? It will literally say on the front. I don't know what it is. And then the Iron Giant. Have you ever seen this one, buddy? Mm -mm. Well, here you go. This one looks fun. Look at the back. It's a nice looking cartoon. I take it he's from Indiana. And we got some bicentennial plates. And, uh, and God, these are such beautiful plates. Mm -hmm. These ones here from Indiana. We have another one that says Independence on it. Like that. Thank you so much for the movies. And the plates. We appreciate it. I used to be an opera singer. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I believe you. Thanks, Richard. Hey, Frank. Uh, this is basically our living room. In our, you know, you know, MOBA. Uh, Derek, would you ever do a cannonball run? I've thought about it. Um, I just... The, the times that I always do the cannonballs always, what's the word? Not interact, conflict with other scheduled events that we've already committed to. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's hard to do them. But yeah, it'd be fun to do some sort of cannonball run. I wouldn't do the, you know, risk my life thing, but just do it to do it. So I need that note to say, no, oh, never mind. This one goes to this one. There you go. Thanks for helping, buddy. This is from James Clark. He's up there in Prairie City, Iowa. You know, I started laser engraving business last year with my wife to supplement their lost income due to COVID health issues. Sorry to hear that. I don't think I should read the rest of this paragraph. I'll read it privately. But he started a laser engraving business. That is really well done. Actually. Oh, wow. Look at this. I put my Leatherman in that. What wow. was it for? I missed it. Hey, Benjamin. Yeah. Will you run out this door and grab my Leatherman? It's sitting on top of the doghouse next to the broken weed whacker. <laughs> Not real. It's... We don't even have a dog. So. Well, the cat house that you bought is a dog house, and the weed well, whacker is most certainly <laughs> broken. <laughs> so dumb. Michael's got a Willie's Jeep. That'd be. You got to get that thing running. When's the next event that you will bring to Atlanta Motor Speedway? I believe that would be Power Tour. Power Tour. Mm -hmm. We're planning on right now bringing oh, she's a little three. Are we allowed to talk what we're bringing? 
Uh, you can mention them, but I wouldn't. Don't hold me to it, because all of them need a lot of work. So right now we're planning on bringing um, our friends Chad and Haley. A lot of you guys um, have seen them at events with us. Um, Chad is probably going to be driving the Farm Crew Cab, I believe. Um, his wife Haley and I will be driving Longmire, and Derek will be driving a vehicle you guys have not seen yet. Okay, don't talk about that one. I'm not. Well, I said. But it'll be really, really cool. We're really excited about that. Really James cool, Clark, thank you so much. You, I mean, you got me a coaster, you got me a flask, and you got me a knife. I mean, I don't know what else a guy needs to carry around in his pockets. You know what I mean? And the holster is really, really cool. You probably sent me as an admin question. I don't know how to do that. I think you need the comment. Um, no, I don't think I think I can do that. I can't do that this time. I have to do it another time. If you see it, I can do it here. Um, just go time that guy out. Kind of I don't know if I'll be able to find it. Well, it'll come up again, I'm sure, because this is about the 18th time I've seen it. Uh, just a reminder, folks. Uh, kids watch these and interact with. Um, you know, their parents and stuff watching the stuff. So let's try to keep the language appropriate for all ages, if we could, please. It's really important to us that we uh, let everybody in on the it's watching James. the show. Yes, James, we will get you added as an admin, too. I'm so sorry we haven't done that yet. That's, uh, hip, hip, uh, that's I'm going to go grab some more. Bentley can do it. Here, you open this one. More packages. Bring them in. Well, he I'm timing you. One, two, three. He's such a good kid. We got so lucky with him. You all of them. They're all good kids. Well, yeah, I mean. Yeah, they're just more shy than Ben. I'm just saying. He's a great kid. Did we really meet in high school? Yes, we absolutely did. Actually, we met in middle school. I just didn't really she like him until like high all. school. All right. This one is from... <sighs> Arizona Dave. He says, Howdy, Derek, you need at least one of these in your remote toolkit. It offers very bright and, we'll just say, bright magnetic base, etc. I don't know what he's trying to say. It must be a light. Or it's a bright light, I think, is what he's trying to say. Thanks, buddy. That's good for now, honey. Thank you so much. Tennessee has been everything we thought it would be and more. That's what we sent for Best food we've ever made. We've lived in multiple so states. No, we're not moving again. Negative. Okay, this is supposed to be bright. Should we test it out, guys? Shine it right in your eye. <laughs> I knew he was going to do that. It doesn't go the way that you think it would go. It's really bright. See? Oh, my. How do you? Okay, well uh that works thank you very much for the light i can't see out of my left retina anymore so it is in fact bright how many luminances was that a million had to bend one thousand that's a lot well thank you so much for that i appreciate it yeah. hope all of you guys are doing good i miss these conversations just hanging out with you guys kicking back I would absolutely love to do something for Canada. The problem is um, getting the vehicles over the border. It seems like I haven't figured out the proper way to do it because the, the vehicles have to sit or they get seized, or at least that's what has happened to my friend a few times. So I don't think that I would make it all the way home. You know what I mean? Wow, this is in like font six. Um, Uh, let's see. Oh, this is a great time. This is a really long letter about this, and I want to explain this in detail. And Lee, I'll definitely read all of this, but it's a lot here. He said he tried signing up for Telegram to contact me back. Listen carefully, please. Anybody that claims to be Derek, Jessica, Vice Grip Garage, Vice Grip Lodge, and that you've won something, or they want to talk to you about something, or they're they're trying to give you something, it's a scam. Mm -hmm. 
specifically Facebook Messenger, Instagram Messenger, YouTube. Uh, even YouTube, um, and Telegram. We don't use Telegram. Here's the easiest way to tell. It's ripping bath towels in there. <laughs> YouTube has a gray check mark behind it. There is only one Vice Grip garage has a gray check mark. Okay, anything that says official or real or Derek Beery or whatever, fake. Facebook has a blue check mark. Instaletter has a blue check mark. Okay, and that's that's the only accounts we have. And we'll never contact you and say, "Hey, you won my boots, but I need seven hundred dollars right. in shipping." Um, if I was going to give you my boots, I'd just send them to you. You know what I mean? Yeah. So please be very, very, very careful. I'm sorry to kind of ramp on that. I just it frustrates we me just that people get taken advantage of. Yes. It's just a sad situation. It's terrible. And I there's nothing that we can do about it after you know the damage has been done. Really. Yeah. Um. Well, here's here's Lee Campbell. He's in there right now. Is that this guy here? Yeah, he's right here. Oh. Yeah. And don't feel bad. These guys are getting good. I mean, I'm not calling anybody a fool or anything no, like it's, that. It's, it's, it's there getting, are so many emails that we get sometimes that I can kind of think is like a real bill that I forgot to pay. Yeah. And I'll almost pay them and then I realize it's not real. Well, this is really cool. That's uh, that's kind of like the Iron Maiden kind of. That's exactly what it looks like. Spike it kind of looks like I don't know if some of you guys know who Iron Maiden is, but that does look like. That's really cool. Got some guitar picks. Lee, is this your demo? The I like this demo on it, Derek. <laughs> I'm just trying to say if it was his, his. These must be. I'm going to read your letter, and this will probably make a whole lot more sense. But we got some musical discs and CDs. And some guitar picks. We got I'm some use those. medium guitar picks. We'll definitely use that. Yep. And those cans. Thank you so much. Appreciate it a ton. Oh boy, so everything's going so fast. I can't even. Oh my goodness. Um, someone said something about building a different kind of vehicle. Uh, we're going to get there. I mean, because how many oh, times? Oh, somebody says this is put out by Iron Maiden. Oh, I didn't even sense. know that. Yeah. There's only so many times a guy can dump gas down a, you know, a 351 or a 350 and go, hey, it runs, you know. Eventually, we're going to have to start doing some cool stuff. I don't know, some, some Mitsubishis or Suzukis. I don't, I don't know. Do any revivals have a working radio? I can't even remember the last revival we had that had a working radio. It seems like that's one of the first things to go. But I feel like there have been quite a few that we were like really surprised. I think the Marquis Sproughham. Who's this from? There's not a letter. This one is from Serbop from Ball Ground, Georgia. Oh. Oh, wow. That's cool. They are sparkly. Independent. That's really neat. Thank you. You could tell that these were handmade because of the way that they are. <laughs> no way. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Thank you so much. I, you know what? We had a lot of tumblers, but we literally use them all the time. Oh, man. We have some really cool ones. Okay. Have in the box? Oh, no. Oh. Which one? This one? The big one? Oh, that's for these. Okay. Oh, it's cardboard. I didn't even see it on the bottom. My husband and I would like to thank you for being here. We thoroughly enjoy watching your show on YouTube. And now I'm motor trying to roll several weeks back to let you know that we've been sending a little gift for you too. And I never met you. However, I had no idea the one that said an inspiration in the time schools look nice, professional, but it's all you do. We hope you like them. P.S. Thank you all for all you do. His, her husband has a Chevy Nova, Elliot and Sarah. Thank Everybody you. Got that. Thank you so much. Uh, the Grand Marquis got sold, and that guy is going to do something with it. And he drove it home. I warned him she smoked. And boy, did it smoke. We thought our building was on fire when we pulled back in. Yeah. It was pretty rough. Yeah. Oh, I can't tell you what this is. Um, Tim, the one million subscriber video was a month ago or two months a ago. A month? I don't know. What it was. Isn't it like but a there, year ago? <laughs> there is one in a playlist, and it's pretty funny. It's like a, it's almost like a bloopers. Wasn't it literally like a year ago in November? So I, I don't remember. It's been a while. 
70s. Hey, Michael. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. You did a Monte Carlo. How about a mid 70s Plymouth Fury? My first car. I would do a Fury. That would be fun. Actually, I shouldn't even tell you this, but we have one. It's just stuck in California right now. It has been for years. So we'll see if we ever get to that. Hi, Derek. I ordered these. My mistake. Oof. Hope you can find a use for them in one of your swear bodies. Love the channel. Keep it up. We do appreciate you, Jessica, and the boys. Thank Thanks, you. Joe. You got good handwriting. Benny, you don't have to retype up, honey. But thank you. We're going to crush them up. Yeah, we don't need to save the boxes. But thank you. Yep. So you've been taping every single one of those bags. No, I'm putting all the garbage in them and then box them up. Oh, we'll use the a bag, baby. But thank you. Uh, great question. The Buick Grand National build. I. Bought some brake parts from a company I believe I'm getting scammed by because that was most definitely months uh, ago. Months and months and months ago. And his machine broke. And then there was an issue with the vendor. And then some company's shop burned down that the thing was in. I'm just waiting on parts. I would love to get back on that. Rear shackles, the Magahi. So if you want to lower her up a little bit. Yep. Oh, we could have used these on the. Yep. Thank you. Definitely we definitely will use them. Paul Sherman, thank you so much. For cold snacks for Mama, for having to deal with all you males. Thank you. Amen. Yes. I appreciate that. There's even some days where I lay down and go, wow, she's had a day. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Yeah. Cody Hickman, thank you, sir. Tip of the hat to you. Best way to remove peeling peeling clear coat, bought the old shine juice for the wife's dream truck. Going to give her another... 20 to my friend's veteran charity. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Um, I would use, if, if you have a decent base coat that isn't severely damaged by the sun, I would use 800 grit sandpaper and just try to try to smooth out the line of where the existing clear coat is to where it's just base coat. Because when you add that shine juice, it's going to accentuate that line, if you will. Another thing you could do is apply the clear coat to where only the clear coat is missing let that dry, scuff it with a gray scotch brite again, and then clear coat the whole thing, and you'll kind of build up one side to the other if you don't want that line. But it's self-leveling, and I think you're going to be really impressed with the results if you just sand it up a little bit and just run it on over with your sponge. It's going to look really good. Send us some before and after pictures mm -hmm. by like scriptgarage at gmail.com. That would be awesome. Um, Ken from Spider Garage is in here. Hi, oh, Ken. Hey, Ken. He says the one million video was just before PRI in early December, over a year and a half ago. So definitely not a month ago. Wow. Well, <laughs> time is a moving. Pomeroy, St. Joe, Mayu, Gazifer, 68. Oh, yeah, I don't. Saint Joe. Um, There's numbers in between the letters. I think this is a sharp knife. Look at this. Wow. All right. Someone shopped at that jungle website and then Primus delivered it. I knew they were out of the music business, but I didn't know they were doing deliveries. Okay. My eyes are still. It, you were gone when the strobe light went off. I was right there when I said, you're going to shine it in your eyes. Can you guys still see? Because I am I just. Hey, do you want to tell everybody where Lawsuit is? Junkyard? It's not a junkyard. It's, rusty acres. it's the stuff row. <laughs> you got three boys that are 99.99% likely to be taking stuff apart all the time. Bentley took his carburetor apart on his Traxxas. Got a little sideways on it. <laughs> so he sent you a Aww. cordless screwdriver. Just got to put batteries in. Isn't that cool? There's your tip adapter and one for Brary and one for Bay. Oh, that was really sweet. Thank you so much. Oh, it's St. Joseph, Michigan. Edward. That did not look like St. Joseph. No. Edward, you've got handwriting like me. It's like 
What's that one font? It's just all like trees and moons. I don't even know. I know what you're talking about, but I don't yeah. know what it's called. That's pretty much it. That would be my handwriting in a nutshell. Okay. Oh boy, this is moving so fast. I apologize so much if I'm missing you. We're boy, I'm just we're trying. Okay. There's on like four or five thousand people watching right now. Oh, is there really? Wow, yeah. that's very cool. Oh, this guy is an Alan Jackson fan. He said if he had money, he'd tell us what he'd do. He'd go downtown and buy a Chevette or two because he's crazy about Chevette. Mm. This is from Jason Heaton, you know, over there in Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania. Yep. Is this an old gate system? I think it is. Chad. <laughs> my, our friend is uh, telling me to show my foot. And I would just for science, but I promise you that this video would get taken down by YouTube. Yeah, you would lose every subscriber. <laughs> so, well, not that. Just for... No, but people would be like, I'm out. It's so gross. I'm sending you the license plates that I have in the stash from all my vehicles that I have owned and sold. Wow. He's building a 79 Jeep CJ5 with a Ford Flip and 33. Nice combo. He's in Virginia. We've got an armed horses plate. Thank you for your service, sir. He was in the Navy, looks like. Thank you so much. These are really cool. Texas, Hawaii. This guy has been stationed in a lot of places. California, Alaska. Oh my gosh, that's really funny. <laughs> Somebody just asked, does he have a black coat like Mr. D's? What's really funny about that comment is when Chad just texted him and told him to show him his foot, he sent the picture of Mr. The black coat with Mr. D. Yeah. It's similar. Very this, similar. We're just trying to keep it. That's <laughs> what we're doing right now. Howdy from Mrs. Swampa. Oh, let's see. Got a few Kansas and Colorado plates. You know, the one the states have been doing a really good job recently on plates. I think they're getting really because you remember back in the fifties and sixties, the plates were. No, so, I wasn't alive. You don't. You weren't there. So my grandma always does this. Remember that dance in that barn in '46? You were there. I'm like, I wasn't born yet, Grandma. No, you were there. <laughs> I know you were. She does that same thing to me, and like obviously. I married into their family, but she'll do the same stuff to me about like family get togethers when Derek was five. Like, well, you were, you were there. What I was getting at is we used to design license plates so much better, so more gooder. Better. Better. Now they're just like the new Tennessee plate is just blue and it says volunteer. But wait, a, to be fair, to be fair, they're like. 70 on the wall you can choose from if you want like yeah but that's where they ones. get you you got to pay the 200 dollars a year or whatever you know to do that south dakota had a really pretty one with mount rushmore for a long time and then they changed that did they change it yes they didn't call oh, it's me like either. red white blue now isn't it yeah which is not terrible but i'm just you guys when you're packing you you i've got to take your packing tape away Oh, oh. Who wrapped this? Well, I'm sure this right here will tell you. I'm your. I can't wait to see what your Christmas gifts look like wrapped. Oh, I assume that's for you. Oh, yes. oh I must. Thank you. I must know this feller. All right, Bailey. We're going to talk about you tomorrow. No. <laughs> this is my favorite part. Uh, we get a lot of comments. Uh, kind of hateful comments which whatever but people that say oh you got to stop showing these race videos they're so boring and i'm here do do a revival every three days 52 <laughs> weeks a year what people don't realize is we're not necessarily there for the race itself we're there for stuff like this yeah all right this is the guy that sent this he's got a picture with me and his wife he's got a picture with independence he's got a picture with jessica and my brother and i will stand in that line mm -hmm. 12 hours a day i don't it's care one of our favorite parts of the events is like just getting to meet everybody yeah. and just seeing the crowd of people that want to come out and say hi to derek and everything is so incredible to us and we love that jb and angie 
I'm that was really guys. fine. Thank you for sending that. But anyway, that's my that's our favorite part, and we just like to share. We don't have to make the video necessarily, but we like to share it. Yeah, you know? there are people who enjoy it, so I always say there'll be somebody who's complaining no matter what. So we just do it anyway. Lambert Cafe. It's an old farm on the back. That's, that's cool. Really cool. Nice looking shirt. I didn't need that eye. Did I hit you in the face? Yeah. Holy oh my fuck God. It's all that, I don't know what to, I don't know what to do. That is so cool. Oh my God. How do you do that? So it's like these new kits that I don't know how they like. This is like stuck in there. Look at this. So like push it's things? like those little bead things. I don't know how to get this in my camera right. Like those little tiny. Is that showing okay on the TV? Okay. Oh, yeah. kind of. So it's like those little bead things that like you have to individually like. Put them in there. That is crazy cool. You guys Dang. are incredible. There's so many talented people out there. I just never would have thought that's really, Ooh, really cool. Ooh, dirt bike engine building handbook. Like really you want to read that, Benjamin? Mm -hmm. What's that? You know, buddy. Um, you can just set it like right there for now, and then we can hang it up. That's so cool, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. All right, hold on. Oh, trying to just scan through some. Bradley Crawford, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Tech Gorilla says his sister does the beat stuff. Made a chinchilla. Mm. Chinchillas are so soft. Have you ever held one? No, I don't even know what they are. What? They're like a, I think they're like an Australia. Are they from like Australia, right? Like that. They're like, they remind me of like a little tiny. Diamond dart. That's what it's called. Kind of like kangaroo almost. But they're the most soft little animals and they take baths and dust like you have to yeah they're cute they're super huh. cute uh, where's Betty White, says Chris Guest. Betty White is out in Rusty Acres. Mm -hmm. um, we got a quote to do the interior because that's really what it needs. And it was almost $11,000. So. Let's put a pin in that. Yeah, we just said, well, let's wait on that. I think I paid $1,700. No, $2,700 for the car. I didn't even know it was that much. Originally. So it's hard to. I mean, I could buy like a mid '90s El Dorado, you know. So, Maybe. but it's but it's we love the car. Yeah. I still start it every now and then. The windows still work. AC blows cold. Uh, it has some brake issues again, and I cannot find those brake calipers to save my life. Um, but you know, yeah. we'll bring it back hopefully. Jeff. Says, keep doing what you're doing. Come to Texas Motor Speedway or Enos Motor Speedway, and I can come see you. That would be cool. Mm -hmm. Jessica, it's called diamond painting. Okay. Diamond painting? That's what this one guy says. You can trust one guy. Well, he's seen the diamonds. Yeah. The diamond yes. part. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. Yep. Golly. You can't read my mind. What's going on here? Hey, babe. Could you go get some more packages, please? This is from Randy. You know Randy over there in Milwaukee. You know Randy. Uh, Justin Fever? Morrow. He sends fifty dollars for Whipple money for the Desolate. I appreciate that. Nice. Thank you so much. I am really excited to get started on that. But first, I have to get a different yeah, well, town rig. Yeah. So that will have to happen first, and once that's figured out, then. Then I can start carrying that pepper part. Oh, I talked to this guy on the line. Uh, Randy gave me one of those digital messages and the emails. And he sent me uh, the parts manual and manual for my fork truck. Because, you know, I bought it non running and then drove it home and then it would not shift. So I'm having to work through that. Randy Ludwig, Ludwig. Here we go. Transmission, transmission control valve. This is exactly what I needed. I knew there was a shim in that. See, this stuff. Sometimes Google just doesn't have the answer. You gotta, you gotta let your fingers do the walking. This is gonna help tremendously. Thank you so much for that. Ooh. This guy blew it out of Chili's. Can I send you that calendar? I was going to have you guys sign. 
Yeah, you can send that over to the PO box. And listen, if you want us to sign something and send it back? Absolutely, we can do that. It just won't be like soon. <laughs> it takes us a while to even get to the PO box. And then, to be completely honest, we don't open a lot of this stuff right away anymore um, because we're just so busy. So we will get. So if you want to send it and have Derek sign it, and then we can get it sent back to you. It might take you know like a month or so before it gets back to you. Yeah. Um, this is a great question from Eric. It says, you want to do a motorcycle build? That's up to you guys. I've been doing the motorcycle stuff since I was knee high to a grasshopper and a rainstorm. So if you guys want to see like a, maybe a motorcycle revival and then we could do a motorcycle build or something like that, please boop it. Let me know. We could do motorcycle stuff. Why not, right? We've done tractors and trucks and cars and snow machines and snow blowers and custom rigs. And... I'm chatting about the text. <laughs> uh, I thought you might like this stuff. I thought you might like this stuff. I find stuff like this at estate sales and pay almost nothing for it. Jay Lawrence. Well, thank you, Jay. Let's see what you got. What'd you do? What have, what have you got here now? What is this? What are we? What am I looking at? What's inside? Another feller up there said he'd like to see some more tractor revivals. I could do tractors. Uh, fine with me. Maybe we'd go find some. You know what I mean? Oh, I had one of these. Remember these? Yep. My mom had one of these. Oh, M. G. Oh my gosh. What I probably had Bailey, what do the kids say in school when something's really like really cool? Fire. Fire. Yeah, it's it's fire. fire. <laughs> we got Trisha Yearwood. We got Brooks and Dunn. We got Alabama, all three of them. Ronnie Millsap State, the judge. Oh, oh. This is like Conway 20. Holy cow, there's a lot. That's like all oh, it's entire <laughs> career. <laughs> this is Conway Twitty's. Entire career in cassette tape. <laughs> I now own it. This is fabulous. If I were to buy cassettes, I'm sorry, my blood pressure is getting Oh my oh, gosh. My <laughs> Conway Twitty. I wonder if they like Conway. Oh, they even made their own Conway Twitty. Oh, well, there's, there's another one. <laughs> this is great. That's hilarious. We'll put that up in the shop. Thank that you looks so much. a new thing. Oh my goodness! You guys are a blast. Oh, we're we're I think most certainly going to be an indie. Yeah. Uh, we just don't know what we're doing. We're I got to try to finish that truck. Yeah. It's, yeah. But we'll probably bring it, whether I'm riding it or not, so you guys can check it out. It's a lot cooler in person than the pile of junk it looks like on the TV set. I still got the Suzuki Madeira. It's laying out in the weeds somewhere. I actually almost hit it with the mini excavator today. Uh, we were busy pushing a Kia into the tree row with the bucket. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Somebody says the kids also say it slaps. Do they say that at your school too? Yeah. They also, say, they also say like it's dope. Well, that's kind of always been a thing for us too. But Do me a favor, boys. Don't talk. Like Just just say that's neat. We had a bunch. Or of, cool. I picked the boys up from school yesterday and we were head to the store and we had this truck pass us that came out of the high school and i guess the thing how is it like this they do this out the window and i guess as they're are they telling me to oh you're vehicle? supposed to floor it i think or something they, every car they pass they would do this yeah. <laughs> robert um saying sayings hope I said that right said are you ever going to visit texas we've been through texas a few times um the Buick Will It Run and Drive Home started in Bogota, Texas. And I believe my son Bentley and I went through Texas on our Route 66 journeys in the C20 pickup that we uh, sold for charity once we landed in Arizona. This one is from Ryan Zhang. Ryan. Got some big poppies. Tear it up, Bentley. Get them. Jump. Get some. All right, you're going to go through the floor. <laughs> Maybe not so hard. Woo. Man alive. What do we got from Ryan here? 
Oh, no way. Wow. You know what this is? This, I think he watched Betty White. I broke my fell. lens. I remember when it fell in the wind, right? Yes. This is a zero to 99 lens. It's an E-mount lens for my camera. Um, Got to be careful on the table blades because it bumps the... Yeah. It's really wild. My camera tipped over in the wind and this smashed into the ground. And I think I had to use my phone or something the rest of the video. Thank you so much. That is really, really cool. Oh no, this is a 28 to 60. So it's a little narrower. Awesome. When are we getting the band back together? I don't know. We're excited. We hope to figure out somehow, some way that I can race the Danger Ranger, but it's kind of not looking very good. So being super honest to you. Okay. That's, uh, oh, you really topped me off there, sir. You're, you got the ghost journal. Uh, oh, geez. Yeah, this is from all the way in October. Would you... We'll pop a couple ice cubes into that, sir. Thank you. This is from the tallies. They're from Florida. Oh, here we go. I ran across these cassettes at the thrift store and oh gosh. Some thoughts came to mind. Here's true stories with Derek. Slide in a little bit. I popped up in just a One. Yeah, I did that so I oh, could clear it. Gotcha. I wonder why someone would just give up a fine collection of music. That's a valid question. Two, I wonder what George Strait is up to. I kind of am too. He bought a horse ranch. But I don't like you follow him that close. Like he... Yeah, who doesn't? I don't. Keep writing them letters, but I haven't heard back yet. Three, I bet Derek and Jessica could use these things in the go on the town rigs. Well, let's see what you got. Oh, they're wrapped up. Marty Robbins, Merle Haggard, Conway Twitty. George Strait, Crystal Gale. Oh, do you still have the Crystal Gale feature I bought you? I hope I do. <laughs> that was the best. Old Country Hits, Diamond Rail, Johnny Cash, yes. John Anderson. You got excited about Cash, didn't you? I heard that. Our son Bailey loves Cash. Country Chart Busters. That looks like, oh, it's Warner Brothers, so that would have been Wait, early 90s. Wait, anyone's ever seen? Do you know what a cassette tape is? Yeah, it's really cool. Do you know how to use it? Yeah. I have a cassette player in my truck. Well, it's really well, you, you do, yeah. Do you, you guys, when we were kids, sometimes this little tape in here, this like ribbon, I guess it's called, it would like get tangled up and then you'd have to like pull it apart and like take a pencil or a pen or something and wind it back the right way. <laughs> Amen, Jade. Back when country was country. Yeah. I uh, have so much respect for, um, I believe it was George Strait. He got his last music award and he said, thank you so much for this award. It's something along the lines of this will be my last country music, no longer country music and I'm not. Mm -hmm. And if he knew how to take the mic out to drop it on the ground, I think he would have, but he kind of just did this and that was that. And I was like, yep, I'm going to go buy more of his cassette tapes. <laughs> Oh, we got some Metallica tapes. I don't know where they're in the closet. I think is this from an O'Reilly store. Oh, uh, O'Reilly's store 4651. 4651, Jan. Oh, I got a first call mouse pad. Oh, you got your, oh, your bourbon flavor. <laughs> they no longer carry these in the store. The bourbons, I don't know why I called. I sent them a letter, but they're not carrying the bourbons. What are these? Oh, the headlights. These are headlamps. You they found a lot of headlamps tonight. They actually are really handy. I mean, they're, you got to kind of fuss with them a little bit, but uh, they're handy. And then this is really cool. Old square body. Do you want to hang on to that for a little bit, Bailey? Okay, then we'll shuffle it around or share, okay? Mm -hmm. Blame it all on my reefs. 
Sorry Not sure what happened, bitch. Sorry for missing your guys' comment. Hard to see, and they're really slow on that. I yeah. keep looking at my phone, and they're going so fast on my phone. Here's a gift to show our support in the automotive field. Hope you enjoy. Alan Phillips, the store manager at 4651 in Michigan. You were, were you just in Michigan or was that Missouri? Was, both. No. Yeah, we were in the UP. And then we went to Missouri. Oh, okay. Yeah, thank you guys. That's I'll awesome. For it. Um, Eric Dale, this is very real. This is actually happening right now in real life. Run and drive in Delaware. Yes, we're actually, don't get too excited. But we're planning on doing one in Philadelphia. That's all I'm going to say. Good. All right. Good morning from Australia. Uh, the Hemi Half was given away like 59 months ago. Uh, that was in the video two or three weeks back. Um, um, it was in the Freedom 500 video, right? Yeah. Sean, okay. Sean M won that. And it is gone. And I watched him drive away, and it just really kind of tugged on my heartstrings a little bit. You but I was so happy for him because he really was he digging was it. He was excited. It was cute. But Good. it's all in the video. You guys can go watch that. This is from Joseph Collins. He's included two tumblers and a set of car coasters with your business name and logo. He makes the tumblers for a living. And they came with power straws. Power straws? That's what I call them. That? Oh, I was going to say, I didn't know that was... Yeah. A guy could use hand controls. I wish I had enough time to do that. That would be fun. Yeah, so here's a good question. Uh, I think I missed it. Boy, this is going so fast. I know. Oh, here it is. Can you talk about how points are scored in the burnout competition? Yeah, so a lot of people and i get it some people just don't like them and they think it's a waste and there's really no talent but all you do is just go out there and spin your tires but in fact i'm here to tell you it's very difficult if you want to be competitive and actually win especially at like the pro or the rival um, classes it's all about your tip in how instantly you make smoke how you can maintain or hold the smoke Total use of the pad, meaning you're not just sitting in the center, you're going around all the walls, showing control of the vehicle. So if you're just smashing it off the barriers and every single corner and everything like that, you would get a deduct and then total flare, basically. So some of them have, you know, three to six different categories, but there's typically three non-biased judges and they rate you from zero to 10 and then the highest uh, average, just like the swim team or whatever, um, wins. These are really nice. They're well done. I think these. They're for here. Yeah. That's really cool too. These are my printed. So I don't know these how they. Little. I think they're like old coasters or something, right? Yeah. Those car, car coasters. Oh, these go in the cup holders oh, in your car. Oh, in your car. That makes sense. That's kind of a neat idea. Does he have the name of his business? He doesn't. But it says contact information. I don't know if he wants me to give that out. I, yeah, but that's great. Thank you. We use these a lot. We really do. So keep these with that. This guy, Jeremiah, Jeremy can play Friends of Little Places on his fiddle. That's pretty cool. Have we already been on for an hour? Yeah, over. It goes so fast. This guy said he listened to Warren G today and was yes. wondering what I was doing. <laughs> well, you're right. I probably also had Warren G on. Favorite body style or favorite make and model? Man, I tell you what. Right now I'm on this weird kick of Studebakers and Kaisers. Man, they are beautiful cars. Um, I don't have, everyone thinks I'm a GM guy. Yes, I love GM cars for a multitude of reasons, but we own that doesn't mean we don't like fords we have mopars a lot we have or... a lot of fords we have mm -hmm. a lot of mopars we have uh studebakers and, and cadillacs and oldsmobiles and pontiacs and i mean henry j's and it's whatever is neat or different or just deserves to be saved mm -hmm. we have it um this guy says you missed my super chat earlier love the content in resurrection garage from the actual voice of Bowser on Mario games. Oh yeah. Keep her going. 
cheers. That's super cool. Uh, I think we chatted back and forth on email or something. And uh, Kenny, I think I went to your Insta letter profile. Maybe that's where we chatted a little bit. But yeah, thank you so much. That's cool. He is the voice of Bowser in the game. Actually, yeah, that's really cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So, uh, Kenneth Brenton, you know Kenneth, he sent this over. There are a bunch of, what are these? Oh, they're Jeep hood hinges. And, and maybe he's just thinking use them for any kind of hinge or for a trunk or something like that. But it's an entire kit. So thank you very much. There's been about 80 questions about the hood straighteners. Okay. So the Hood Saver 6000s, uh, we are through version 5. And um, I think they're there. But now we're looking at getting them plated or powder coated. And then we have to we have a couple different options for packaging and shipping. The goal here is, fellers and fellas, is these are going to be the best hood saver on the market, period, bar none, guarantee it or your money back. I'm not going to sell junk. So I want these plated or powder coated so they're you buy it once and they're on your truck for the life of the truck. No one else is doing that either. So I just don't want to flop something out. I'm willing to take a hit on them and literally make next to nothing to just mm -hmm. have a good product out there and save these truck hoods because but you guys know how hard it is trying to find a straight, straight square body hood anymore. It's it's insane and it's yeah. really costly. Um, so we're getting really close. I just want to make sure to do it right the first time and not be like, oops, here's another revision or oops, we're going to change it and it's going to be this. Um, so it's coming pretty soon, pretty soon. Chris Ledoux is awesome. <sighs> the roof rack mounts, those are also, um, we're thinking about making those. We can mass produce those. Had to make a couple tweaks for the, the drip rail. That's done. But we can sell just the bracket mounts. And then you guys can make, you know, because I don't know if it's a truck or a suburban or a car. Um, but we can also add those to our store and they'd be ready to rock. You just put them on, the clamp would be on there and everything. Yeah. Uh, but again, we want to make sure they're really dialed before we let those go. Can you see this yeah. one? Hey, Derek, just oh. thought you may find a use for this. For my garage to yours, keep up the great work. From Dawn in Brownington, Utah. I'll put this on the John Deere tomorrow. It's kind of hard to tell because of the lighting, but this is bright orange. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll put that on the John. Benjamin, we'll put that on the, you the know what that's for? The yeah, you just grab it. Like when you don't have to do that. You have one on RV. In the RV, yeah. Yep. It looks like an eight bowl. Yep, exactly. Thanks, Don. Uh, the travel toolkit is from Speed Tools. Uh, Bryson, JDM, I think that's a rock band out of New England, but. Um, I wouldn't mind doing some of those cars, like some of the older, like Celicas and stuff. Is I don't, I'm not really sure if that's considered JDM. I that clueless, but I'm not opposed to it. I mean, it would be fun. It would be a challenge. I'd probably learn something. So maybe we'll see what happens. And thank you so much. I appreciate that. Whoo, man. This is moving so fast. I'm trying to just get through yours. Oh, I think Dan is in here. Hello, Dan. How goes it? CDC um, we got cables. We got a bunch oh, of cables. he's in here. We need the Dan roof rack mounts. Oh, he probably might could need them for power source. Is that what you're thinking? Pro, Billy. You just run some one by one square tube and throw them, zap them up a little bit, and you're done. We got like 58 cigar lighter adapter rooms here. Oh gosh, the kids are gonna. Oh, boy, gonna... I didn't see the. Did I already say who this is? This looks like heavy duty. Where's the. Who's... If it was sent from Amazon, it might not say. If they, don't, no if they don't include the. Um, Shoot. The yes, no thing. Well, thank you, whoever sent the 17 pound. 
cigarette. I go through. Look at the heavy. You must be busy with something. They, well, the good ones show you the voltage of your uh, system. They actually tell you if it's charging or not. So that's really cool. But Jessica gets upset at me because I every time I leave town, I take a charger and a cord and I come back without it. Without it, I have like I order them in bulk on Amazon, so I have them and like he, he never brings them back. It's so frustrating. If you stay in a cheap motel that has a phone charger hanging out of the wall. <laughs> I was there. Let's see. What model Milwaukee Impact do you use? I use the big fuel one. It's like fourteen hundred foot pounds. And it's been a lifesaver. I used to be a diehard air guy, but tripping over all the cords and all that stuff is just a mess. This is from Expedition Roasters out of Westwood, New Jersey. Are you taking a breath? Got a nice letter. We got a lot to get through. Nice big letter here. Love your show and your TV show. Congrats. Well, thank you. I'd share some specialty coffees to keep you caffeinated. Yes, let me see. And someone who has restored plenty of Mustangs over the years. <laughs> We started a little family coffee Good company. Class. You don't need coffee right now. I don't want any coffee right now, but I want to. Thanks, cool. Eric and Marlene. Look at it. It's like. That's cool. It's really cool. Oh, there's a bunch of different ones. Yeah, let's do that one. They got the route of the six oh, and six. Oh, that's like hard to see. Hey, King. That's cool. Oh, I got to go find King. Oh, there's no King one. gave it a one. Shouting you out. Fortune glory. Thank you, guys. Any chance of another Rocky Mountain race week in the future? Well, I'll tell you what, sir. I'll be there. It's coming. Ooh, that smells so good. We just love that smell. Uh, the La Sabre. I love that car. Listen, you guys can help me out. Here's the problem. Here you go, son. Hide that coffee from mom. 1968 Buick La Sabre. It's a 400 model. I need a fuel tank. It's not a standard A body where the tank is this wide and then it has the spout in the back, like a Cheval or something like that. It sits this way with the spout here. It's like the, the rectangle is a different shape. I need a fuel tank for that 1968 Buick and we'll get that thing fired back up. We could do a lot of work to that thing, get it back on the road. All right. I'd love to do something with Stacy David. I just don't know how to get a hold of the guy. Man, I've been watching him on TV for years. I think we've chatted a little bit on the face space, but um, yeah, it'd be fun to do something with that guy. He's a, what the kids call the goat. You know what I mean? <laughs> Model A, it's still sitting there. It needs Babbitts. We, uh, you guys watch that video. I don't know how that I have so much respect for those engines and those cars. We drove it home blowing up. I mean, it has no bearings left, no oil pressure. It was dumping oil out of every crevice. Uh, so it needs to be rebuilt. This is from Matt Wagner in Double Lake, Minnesota. Oh. Well, you need a shifter. Yeah. I do need a different shifter for oh, lawnmower, hey. actually. And it's a P5. Perfect. So we could uh, do something with that. I really just need to like cut that bar down and then just get... I don't mind the shifter that's on there. I just need it not so small. We got a isolator relay. We got Schroeder valve. North Dakota Pioneer plates. Relief valve and fittings for the gas tank. Oh, yeah, all sorts of valves. Well, thank you so much. What is this? Oh, it's a air pressure valve. This is for Longmire. So this, all these are airbag parts for uh, your truck. That is so kind. Yeah. I just, and we need that. I do things are pulling out. I'm thinking, like, I can use that, too. I yeah. can use that, too. So we That's can maybe perfect. just cut this and then weld it on to yeah. the, the other one. Thank you. That was awesome. really cool. Very, very cool. Shop Lion's doing good. He is uh, doing so much better. His leg has healed. For those of you who don't know, he did get attacked by a fox. 
um, while we were on sick week, actually. Um, so we came home and he was kind of injured, but we got him to the vet and taken care of, and he just had to stay inside for a little while, which he did not love that, but he's doing so much better, definitely back to himself and running and playing just fine now. So we're really happy about that. <laughs> this is a spark plug cleaner. There's You put some silica in here, and you jam a spark plug through the rubber boot, and you hit it with air, and it basically sandblasts the end of your sparkulator, and boom, new brand new, throw it back in. That's cool. I've always seen these. I've known about them. I've never purchased one. I've, I've never heard of them, so you're just going to tell me it, it was a tool made in, correct me if I'm wrong, Nathan and Michael and Jay, but I think these are made in the 50s, and they're kind of just coming back around again. This one's brand new, made by Sonics. So thank you. That's really cool. We'll yeah. definitely be using that. We go through a lot of spark lighters. Paul Sherman. My goodness, my man. Thank you so much. I was working on my camper van build today and said, I wonder what Derek at Day Day Rick at VGG is doing today. Well, not a lot. He's laying around. No, I was doing a lot of business on the computer boxes. Thank you for thinking about us. I appreciate it. Be sure to blow on the plug when you're done with it. I was a Ford truck. Farm. How's the Ford truck farm? Let me dump run. Oh, it is full. Why did we stop driving that? Driving what? Brad, why did we park up your truck for the time being? Something with the engine, I think. I fixed that. Oh, it needs a clutch. Oh, yeah. Clutch is shot. That's what it is. Um, so we're going to get to it. Okay, let's see here. Joe Collins, hey VGG family, hope you enjoy the cups and the car coasters. Oh, yes. thank Joe, you. Thank you. Those. I hope you were in here. Yeah, they're that. awesome. Those are really cool. So thank you. Yes, I will be at duct tape drags this year, and I'm not liberty to speak about it, but all I can tell you is if things go as planned, it's going to be the best duct tape drags ever in we're the history of the duct tape drags. So put that on your guys' calendar. I believe that's in Tuxan, Arizona, right? Yeah. And uh, shout well, out to Gary's wife, Champagne. He asked if I could say hello to her. So, you got to shout out. I don't really want to shout, but I think that was I think that's what it means when you shout it out. You got to like yell it. I got a valve cover to a Chevrolet. Oh, wow. Valve cover. I was testing it. <laughs> Worked pretty good. Okay. Why are you saying, hold on? Hey, Polly Outdoors is in here. Oh, hey, Paul. What? What? They sent a whole bunch of stamps. Oh, this is, uh, Blake says, what are you doing with that super clean white F100? Well, we got to put, we got to finish it. Um, that's the Rotten to Resurrected series that I started. We've got the parts in, I believe. I wanted to do that one pretty darn right. Um, so that could be coming here pretty soon. I don't They sent stamps, but it doesn't say why. I think they probably want me to sign this. The piece of cardboard? Or the valve cover? The valve cover. Oh, <laughs> I was say that. Yeah, it's off a of Junk 305 that came out of his 84K10 and it represents the first spill. Okay. I'm thinking they want wanting us to probably sign this and, and then send it. Okay. send it back. Yeah. We'll we can do that. Again, give us like 58 weeks, <laughs> give or take 40. Another year. But we'll definitely get it back. The desk is really good at following up on that stuff there. Hey, Jimmy. Hey. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, we won't stop making digits. You guys keep watching. We'll keep making them. Um, we need to get rid of this guy. Which one? Right now. Um, so, which one? This one. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Oh. Again, just a friendly reminder. A lot of you are just Most fine, of you are amazing. But please use respectful and kind words towards your peers and everybody in here. There's children watching and people of all ages and things of that nature. So we would appreciate that very much. Yes. Yeah. Okay, this is from Mike. 
from French Gulch, California. For the letter shoved in that valve cover. Oh. Uh -huh. well, been this, maybe. I think it was that letter. Okay, we got it. We'll read it. It was you wrote a lot, Feller. We, we got just it. can't. We'll be here till 3 a.m. if I power through that thing. But I do, I read all of these. We stack them up right here. Yep. And after we're done, I'll get through these here. You remind me of a cross between Red Green and Tim Allen. Derek, your support of Derek and family is really nice to see. Oh, they build some cool old carts, some hot rods. He's got a Sussex. I'm enclosing a racer. Erasers for Christ Bible for you and your family and some stickers. This is really cool. The stickers here. Ah, the glare, something else. In the book. Stick this on the bedside. Thanks, buddy, for bringing Thank me. you so much. Yeah. Very kind. And I'll get to your letter here and your photographs shortly. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba. This guy says. I don't know what Jason If you Alvarez had a doing. dollar for every eye roll just gives you per day, a guy and his family could retire on a beach somewhere. Derek loves when I roll my eyes at him more than it. I always tell her it looks like they're rolling out of her head. No, she hates <laughs> it so bad. And half the time I don't even realize I'm doing it, but apparently I do that a lot. It's just <laughs> built in. Just it, it's automatic. I, when I roll over and say good morning, it's not real. That's not real. Maybe more neck. I'm not quite sure. Don't be dumb. It's not true. <laughs> T Walk from Pennsylvania. You know T Walk. Oh, Brary. Oh, okay. Look at that. Check that out, Brad. That's the family's cool. here. Whoa, look at these muscle cars. Come here, Bentley. Look at this one. 47 Chevy. And then you got a 62 Corvette. 84 Mustang. And a 71 Charger. Which one's your favorite? Um, ooh, I don't know. This is from Lieutenant Thomas Walk. He returns his hat. That's really cool. Thank you for what you do, sir. Yeah. It takes a lot of nerve, and we appreciate it a ton. You're a great inspiration and a great role model for so many. The world need, needs more men like you. Well, thank you so much, and I would say the world needs more men like you, sir. And thank you, Thomas. We love these patches. We keep them. They're in the bookcase in my office. Yep. And Bradley also likes Bradley to collect loves them. Bradley to collect them, so... She kind of fights us for some of them sometimes. So. Here, boys. You guys can each pick one, and then Daddy gets one. Okay. okay. Maybe keep them in the box. Those might be worth dollars someday. Probably not. <laughs> ah. All right. Jordan Campbell, keep your feet moving, sir. Chin up. Everything will be just fine. Um, let's see. Can we just asked, can we get around the Longmire? Yes, sir. Just drove it to, uh, what do you call it? Lois's? Yeah, Lois's hardware. Took it to Lowe's the other day, and then we went back to lunch, and of course, Starbucks. Um, everyone wants to see a vapor lock. No, nobody, nobody wants to see that. Yeah, I think we should do that. If that happens, I just leave anyway, so nobody can watch me. Well, no one knows so. anything's happening because you're just sitting there going. <laughs> that means for, for the new people watch the show, this with an occasional <laughs> stop <laughs> means that she's laughing really hard. There's just no wind. Oh my gosh. She gets so red because she's not breathing. I mean. It, the first time it happened, I thought she was having a seizure or some sort of weird stroke. Oh my gosh. Stop. I started checking her skin tartar and like her pulse. It just My skin what? Tartar. It's tartar. You're the tartar. But that doesn't even mean it. Skin tartar is when you're dehydrated. Oh, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Oh boy, any news on Vanishing Paint? It's it's uh, in the shop. We have cleaned it up. We parked it. It's unloaded. Um, we want to do a like a manual swap on that. I think would be really cool. Here's oh. our buddy. Yeah. This perfect. We just timing. ran out. We just ran out of your stuff, buddy. This is from Joe. Uh, he makes the stuff out of his house, uh, and okay. it is fan. Saucy bottom barbecue. It is so good. Delicious. I use it on eggs, pizza, salad. I mean, whatever you want. Thank you, bud. Boy, it has very fine rate fighting. Look at this. He's got a 91 Camaro. 76k20 a big box okay joe i'll get to your letter here in a little bit you got a lot going on this stuff is seriously really good though yep here's more of the sauce that we like yeah out of illinois cool stuff actually i saw this in an ace hardware in florida i think i saw something like that i remember you were like oh, wait, congratulations was it, was it dude florida? that's that's i love seeing was, people succeed. we did see it somewhere that's so cool I'm happy for that guy Oh, let's see. I do not have the Sab. I sold that a long time ago. I just couldn't fit in the thing. Um, if we do a manual on the Challenger, we're doing a five or a six speed with hydraulic clutch. Did the Swisher King rough cut mower still perform for your grass cutting? Yes. Mm -hmm. Actually, Jessica's in charge of the grass cutting for the most part, but. I fight him to mow the yard. Um, That's my favorite thing to do. I think we got 140 hours on it. Basic maintenance and I think a belt. Mm -hmm. And they've been really good. The big brush hog one, the, the, the one that cuts like trees down and stuff, the controller fell off the tractor and I ran over the dang controller. Um, but they fixed it for us and it works great. In fact, as soon as I can, we're going to go cut a trail through the trees for the boys. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Are you looking? Is what are you going to do with all, if there's another. Cleaning out my rig. Got too much stuff. Hold on. If there's more Conway Twitty, we're going to have to give some away. We got vice grips. We got cassette tapes. We, need, we always we got, need these. We got strap lighters. These are the good ones too. We got a Randy Travis tape. We got a whale and a Willy tape. Oh, yeah. We got a Simon and Garfunkel. See, why aren't you getting excited over these? Because we've had about four different sets of all these. Ray right. Stevens. Neil Diamond. Oh, Neil McCoy. Um, oh, here you go, buddy. Lift with all your back and quick jerk. There's a lot, probably a lot of new people in here. There's been a lot of people asking about your foot, so maybe you could. Uh, yeah, so got a booboo -boo on my foot. Um, just trying to take it easy. Uh, it's recovery is full recovery is probably I don't know three to five weeks. Uh, but we're gonna you know the channel is gonna move forward. Um, you just might see Jessica or the boys a little bit more helping out here and there. But uh, it just couldn't do it this week, and this is why we're doing a live over here. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna keep charging for it we have a lot of really cool stuff coming up we've got hot rod power tour we're going to be doing we've got indianapolis cletus and cars we've got cletus and cars in bradenton we're going to try to get to bristol even if it's just me laying in a lawn chair um but you know the show must go on i just i'm a little slow it's a little hard to walk right now i guess we need to find <laughs> <laughs> Heard you loud and clear, Chad. There, <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Um, oh, Adam, thanks. You don't have to do that, no, guys. Thank you so no. much. Love you guys. Have the whole family hooked. Keep on wrenching. Thank you. We hope uh, it motivates you guys too uh, to get out there and listen. Your project ain't gonna work if you don't. That's all there is to it. You're gonna have to get out and at least do something clean it off open the door or something like that favorite food i'm a meat and potatoes guy i don't know if you can tell by my astute figure but um we're like we like farm food yeah that's a that's a really good way soups to put it. casseroles red but meat 
they will never turn down taco. No, we are <laughs> taco fanatics. Actually, I'll admit it. I don't like the word in general. I also think it's spelt weird. The word taco snobs, I think. Mm. Right? Yeah. I mean, we just eat so I think we eat at our favorite taco place like an embarrassing amount of times every week. Thank you, honey. That's good for now. Here's the Oldsmobile tape. This is Thanks, from uh, Idaho to Diane and Kelly. Wow. They're from Post Falls. That's a nice little area. We got battery holder upper. Okay. We got oh, it's some... a carrier. It's a go handle. I don't need to buy these separate. Yeah. What? We got some four patches. We got an old Montana plate. Those are cool. Ooh, we got some jerky we got to try. Ooh. Your boys got <laughs> All right. You want to try some, boys? Mm -hmm. Okay. And a couple stickers. Just Thank another you, right? couple, a couple more comments on how awesome our shirts are. I'm just going to say that. I don't think that happened. I didn't. There are two of them right there, but it's fine. Which kid is our favorite? We love all of our kids oh, absolutely equally. Question. All of them are insanely special to us. Yes, absolutely. Uh, let's see. You guys want to try some of this? It's, 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 it's Muddy Cow and Coon Rapids. Yes, we ate there a lot. Their onion rings are so good. It's uh, beef jerky, that. but it's like old school. It's more like jerk tack. It's not like new Here, here's thing. that guy. Hmm? That's the one. We got to get him out. <laughs> really? Oh, he's right there. Yeah. That's really good. Ah! Oh, he just. Right there. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. What mm. kind is it? Mm. It's like normal jerky. It's teriyaki. It's really good. Yeah. All it needs is cheese. Oh. Mm. That's really good. I'm not going to be rude. Don't smack on it because you guys can probably hear my heartbeat through this microphone. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Anything that has pizza is my favorite food. Huh. We um, had make your own pizzas tonight for supper, actually. Peas and corn. We like cheesy, cheesy green beans. You know what we haven't had in a long time, and I don't think you like it, but everyone else does, is cream corn. I like cream corn. I think it's Bentley. I don't like it. Bentley doesn't like He's Bentley still at the age where he just he's very picky. Eats this much <sighs> food every night. Oh, boy. Hi from Iowa. Geo Metro. I don't think I have a Geo Metro. We had a Geo Prism. Uh, we would love to attend more car shows. A couple of years ago, when my schedule wasn't so hectic, we went every single weekend sure without did. fail. Oh, didn't you already send these ones? I might have. We might have opened them and looked oh, at them. Oh, yeah, then, these are phenomenal. These are really cool posters. So. They're belay aluminum. <laughs> They're incredible. He's offering to make these for us to sell them to you guys for about 50 bucks. $50? Well, they're belay. I don't know. Quit seeing it like that. Just be real. I mean, they're, I mean, this stuff isn't cheap. You got to buy this in a block. I mean, you're to be right. Able to machine you're it right. To this. Um, but beautiful. This is five star engineering, CNC machining, Steve Bohm. You got your cards here, sir. They do a bunch of stuff. They have four Haas vertical machine centers. My face is itching so bad. I need some Windex or something. We'll what? take a look at it. Clean my face. Some Windex? Like a windshield. No? Okay. Moving on. <laughs> oh. Hello from North Carolina. That's smoky, you know. Uh, Jeremy says he adopted me as an uncle. <laughs> okay. Uh, my ribs are doing really good. They healed just in time for me to mess my foot up. The only time it hurts now is when I sneeze really bad or cough really bad. Uh, more pressure out than pressure in. Okay. We did put on a car show twice. That would have been our third annual. I thought it was three times. Was it only two? Maybe it was three times. It was a lot of fun, 
but we just have to get more volunteers and help because it just and we ran the the space we had just wasn't enough room and we just filled it up so fast and yeah. i think we were turning some folks away i felt terrible we would love to do it again we're just going to have to get a bigger venue but yeah we'd love to have just a car show and get some food trucks and we do and, have a couple ideas in the works um in regards to doing a car show here kind of locally where we're at um but we don't want to say too much about that until we have like more official details just what is that Put those on. <laughs> the teeniest thing they use it. oh let's see these are light bulbs for a 2005 chevy cobalt 2.2 liter sedan we can have them oh, that's from dave the advantages to LED is lights. It's a longer life, less work for your charging whirler, and better gas mileage. Plus, they're very bright. And there's Wait. a whole box of them to a cobalt. I think that's a light driver. Oh, 3547. <laughs> okay. And some nice shop rags and gloves that actually fit Jessica. There you go. Put that in that box too so i can i have a lot of okay. gloves that fit me yeah i love those car shows that was that was a lot of fun um the other thing is i got to figure out how to manage my time better i wanted to talk to everybody but it was hard to like be all over the place there's been a few people um oh i'm just gonna say um our good friend heidi just sent me a text and said our shirts are busting Thanks, i heidi. think you text her to get on and say that yeah, on your behalf uh joe joe chim sent anno knock currency great content Cre keep up the great work thank you so much i appreciate that a ton thank you uh, she got the shirts on the jungle website i believe amazon yipper yeah Jeff says we need a vice grip garage talk about i don't disagree. i mean i would not i don't disagree hate that at all um a bunch of people must be new or come in later there's been a lot of people asking about an update for bentley's cart yeah come on over here come back over oh he's eating his oh he's here. eating jerky so finish that up and then you can come over then go man explain it we, we are working on it mm -hmm. he, he did get some folks that chipped in to help out with it and uh, we got him those funds and he went online and he bought some axles and uh, some tires and you got a seat and seed belts and lights a lot of stuff, and so. switches but we've got the problem is when you get stuff off evil bay it's weird but the pictures aren't necessarily what you get Shocking. so we got a lot of mismatched parts that we're trying to figure out the least expensive route to get things to line up Reaped. <laughs> This is from Mid Minnesota Motorheads. They're in Sock Creek Center, you know, down there. Right. His name is Doug Evans. And they're a car club. And they're a hundred percent nonprofit car club that does fundraising at our car shows for Eagles Healing Nest. They take in vets with drug and alcohol addictions, PTSD, homeless. Last year they raised over nine thousand oh. dollars. Wow, good for you. Check these guys out. Yeah. And thank you for the uh, if you could tell your audience to look us up on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube, keywords Mid Minnesota Motorheads, the more attention, the more we draw. So, yes, please go check these guys out. Um, Anybody who helps out our yeah. vets, we appreciate so much. I think that's very important. Sharing is caring. If you could drop them a dollar, 50 cents, anything, it all adds up. Okay. And then I got a hat. And I got a thank you, Ben. Your... <coughs> Excuse me. My cup does. Oh, yeah, put it on that one. Thank you. We got to probably think about shutting this down in 15 minutes. We've been going for a long Almost two hours already. Time. Yeah. Any cards you started shooting a video for, but just couldn't keep going on it i've only ever had one and that was a uh, 1972 mercedes diesel 220 sedan thing um, i started tearing into it i quickly figured out that it needed a pump and then i started looking at pumps and they were 
crazy expensive for this car and i bought the car for 300 dollars. it was just a heap and it just would not be practical for me to buy the pump and the lines and everything else to get that car going to have a 310 dollars car so that one i ended up selling i think for what i bought it for plus the parts and i think i put tires on it or something like that but i just really lost interest in the project and um but other than that everything that i have in rusty acres or in the shop or projects i definitely want to do we're just trying to get the parts ahead of time and have everything ready so we can just dig in and get it done. Okay. A novel? It's from Forrest. He's also got roof rack clamps. Oh. And they work on Mini Coopers. Cool. Oh yeah, I see it. That's a very similar design to ours. Mm -hmm. So this one has a eyelet hook yeah, on the one side. That's neat. I'll definitely use those. Very oh. cool. Awesome. Thank you so much. That's from Forest King in Wiley, Texas. Now the weird mid-engine car I still have. That's an AMC, and it's such a beautiful body on that thing. It has no rust. Um, I just don't know what to do with it because the frame's been all hacked up. It's been completely compromised. About the only thing we could do with it is make it a rail car. But, you know, every time I do a race, I get chewed on. So I don't know if I want to invest that much money into a rail car and go drag racing if you get mad about it. So I would, I love drag racing personally, but. It's fun. It's been a lot of hard work. Uh, someone asked if I have any formal mechanic training. I don't. I just failed enough times to figure out the easiest, fastest, cheapest way to do it. Kind of, sort of, ish right to get a kind of, sort of result. Chad Layton, thank you. Appreciate you very much. Um, Jessica, are you ever going to do a revival? Maybe. Maybe. Might, might have to do one this weekend. I know. I agree. We were just talking about it. I might have to do one for him because. He can't really do much right now. Yeah. What's your another awesome shirt coming? Just saying. Grail car. Holy it must be holy grail. Holy grail yeah. We're we're so blessed and lucky to have, I think, the cars that we want to have. Please. Um it's just none of them are super nice. We have one nice Camaro that we sold her Chevelle and my Chevelle to pull that money to go buy a Camaro, but I don't fit in it, <laughs> so it sits. Which one do you, like, out of those ones, which one do you regret the most that we got rid of? Probably. The Red Chevelle? Probably the Red Chevelle. Yeah, I thought you'd say that. I kind of regret getting rid of mine, but only because that one, like, came from so low from the total, you know what I mean? Like, came down from so far. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We don't sell a lot. of. We sold a few, like, I don't know, 11, 15 cars. But we don't sell a lot because I just don't have a lot of time to follow up with it. And it's hard to just arrange um, schedules and whatnot. This is from Uncle Chet. Oh, yeah. I think it's good that he's going to send this. Yeah. This guy is something else. He is... Ten personalities in one big body. Thanks, Chet. It's chilling with Chet. This is uh I think it's Clater's uncle. I think that was what people thought, but then I feel like we learned that that wasn't. May not real. be the thing. He's a wild man. He's the guy with the uh, Tesla that does the spectator drags and I think he did a couple burnouts and stuff like that. He's, he bought that brand spank a new Ford Ranger for the Danger Ranger last year. Oh yeah, he had the Turbo <laughs> Ranger, yeah. Our Texas Homestead, thank you so much. We love your channel. I have to catch myself telling my subscribers on YouTube to bleep bloop comments oh, down in the box cool. below. Oh Keep God. up the great work. Well, thank you. Yeah, they got a bleep bloop, otherwise you don't know what's going on. That would you, make you know sense. what I mean? So we just talked about the rebel. It's sitting out in the field. I just I don't I don't know what to do with that. Do I have an auto refill cup? I got 
Somebody asked, somebody said, like, is your cup magic every time you take a drink? Cool. <laughs> yeah. Bentley's just pouring so in. is popping her off for me. Robert says he loves the raising content. Well, thank you. We, um, I, I like to get you guys content that you like, but ultimately I like to do what I like to do too, you know? So sometimes we just yeah, like to go raise. Love. This is from Robert Russell. Oh, wow. Look at that. You made a dang old tree <laughs> out of copper wire. Oh. I hope it's like alternator wiring. Or wiring. Oh, yes, you guys can see that really close. Look at the detail on that. That's super cool. Yeah. Roger Russell. He says that's what he does. The tree began as 57 wires. Wow. Each 30 inches long. So there's about 140 feet. Of 24 gauge wire to Is make Bradley that true. Here, here That's incredible. Bradley. Well, oh, God blesses your family. Well, yeah, super neat. Ditto. Likewise, my friend. Thank you so much. I don't know that guy. That's really cool. Bradley's going to be. That's why I just said it. Oh, I didn't see that. Triple seven is at my buddy Andy's house still. Uh, we had to basically cut all of the floor and the fender wells and the trunk and everything out of it. It's just frame rails right now, and Andy's working in a cage and um it's going to be a lot of work but we still have it we still want to do something with it yes yeah uh -huh. barry kashar from california shipping is getting so expensive hey you ain't kidding when i had to send that stuff to you and steve the other day i think it was like 49 bucks just to get it to you guys yeah i wish there was a way we could help these guys more in shipping when they buy merchandise. But... These are really cool. They make these with the swivel. This guy just <laughs> Bradley, look at this. cut the box end off and welded a socket on her. Somebody made this out of wire. Oh, it's 140 glasses. feet of wire. Isn't that neat? That's cool. It's heavy. Kind of, huh? This is a super one of a kind, super whiz bang specialty tool for tightening and loosening header obstructed 5 8 sparkulators. Throw it on your race trailer. I will. I will do that. Thank you, Barry. That's really cool. Get that over there. Let's see. Um, what's your favorite Metallica album? I've got a few of them. Mm. Ride the Lightning, Injustice for Injustice All, for all definitely. Black, Black album. album. Yeah, I know it's weird, but I kind of do like the Load and Reload albums. Yeah. And then that's where Metallica kind of just. Well, I like and I like their F and N albums too. Bradley, you might have to back up a little bit so you don't keep me on the table every thirty-two seconds. <laughs> Thanks, Bobby. I do still have the Sudebaker fire truck. Um, I couldn't take it anymore, and we had we moved it indoors, so that's now in a lean-to that's about to fall over. I have not actually had a chance to listen to Metallica's newest album. Um, did you know they have a new one out now? Yeah, I'm scared. I'm kind of scared to listen to it too. I hope Lars I, figured out his drums. That's all I got to say. Their last new one. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What was that one called? It, it doesn't exist yeah, well anyway i didn't love it at first but then i kind of grew to like it honestly so maybe we'll like the new one too i don't think anyone likes the newest one or the the old new one next to newest one master of puppets was an absolute fabulous yeah, album as well really and they have so many w crumb fired this over um I'm going to be honest, fellers and fellas, we're not even making a dent on this. We're going to have to consider shutting down here in a while. But if you want to do this again, we could do this again. You know, just hang out, chit chat, bleep, bloop it. You know what I mean? Well, there's lots of people in here. I mean, they're watching. Yeah, I mean, we used to do these a lot when we were I'm first starting like, out, and it was a lot of fun. We need to shut down quite yet. We need to do a little bit more if everybody wants to hang out still. <laughs> Why am I doing all the opening? Bricktoberfest. Here, you make that. 
Is this a Does cigar box? It? This is a cigar box. Looks like it. I don't want to scratch the wood. But the filler put tape over it. Yeah, you both can keep going. They're a huge fan. Maybe one day you'll pull this out of your pocket and say, <laughs> I wonder what Wesley Crum is doing right now. Keep on keeping on, brother. Bring the thunder, Wesley. Thanks, Wesley. That was nice. William Hasley, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Let's hang out again. I think we should. I think we should hang out again. I was kind of nervous doing it on this channel, honestly, but it actually kind of worked out a little bit better because all of the chat is still going fast. It's not quite as it's not as hectic. As and, crazy and as it's a little more time. personable. We can yeah communicate a little bit more. You know what I mean? Holy smokes! When you come to Bowls Gap Volunteer Speedway, I don't even know where that's at, but I would really like to do that. Now well, let's see. This guy can. Oh, love to hang out. He watches everyone. Awesome. That's nice. Thank you. Holy Moses. Oh, wow. Oh. It was a cigar box, and they tricked on me. This is his logos. Let me, let me, this is another let me get you the full presentation here. There you go. We got more letters. We got cards. Another sticker. Crum Bladesmith. Oh, it's I got it. It's an, like antler with ducks. Oh, be dip. He puts in the personal information, or not the personal, the specificational. We got a 1075 blade steel with the coyote brown paracord with a 2 and 11 16 blade length, and it's a pocket carry EDTCs. <coughs> and he finished her up it's in got a serial number late on February, it. and it's got a serial number of. 161. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's I might nice. have to throw this on. Nice. Cool. Well, don't yeah. do yourself again. Oh, that sound. Don't do that ever again. She is sharp, oh, fellas. Look at I'm hit. I got goosebumps so bad. Well, the guys want to know. Oh. Yeah. Very well done. I think the guy could slip that right on my hip that's good night. Yeah. Well that's awesome. Check this guy out if you want some blade smithing done. I got two knives tonight. I am fired up. You I feel like you get a new one every time you do one of these. Yeah. Yeah, I heard Jay Lennon. I don't think it was Jay Lennon's Brooklyn though. It was that comedian that has a puppet on his lap. I can't remember his name. Is that uh, Jeff Dunham? Uh, he has an orange brick, I think. Thank you guys for the kind words. Appreciate it very much. Let's use the new kniper. Should we? Go for one? it. My grandpa used to carry a pocket knife. I think it was the same one he had since like 1986. Super dull. And it was like a flat screwdriver. <laughs> there was no knife. And it, it, I'd always be like, oh, this so-and-so, I need a knife. Here, Derek. And he'd flip open this, like, bent stick that didn't even have any sort of – and then you feel bad, so you try to use it. So I'm, like, you know, trying to pry tape with it. We will be on Hot Rod Power Tour. Yes, sir. I was cleaning out my garage and found these. Scott. It's very loud. Already. Oh my goodness. Wow. He got four for two dollars at the grocery store. Grocery store? That's what the sticker says. Oh, it does say <laughs> Those are Chevrolet dog dishes. We need these. Yeah, that's what I did. Those go for the croup cab. Derek actually passed up on shape. some Chevelle SS hubcaps today. That I did. Really shocked. The whole set was there and everything. It was a complete set. Store. But he didn't take them. the center caps are cracked. On like two of them. Not all of them. Well, I mean, hundred dollars was pretty it stiff. Was really steep, yeah, that I thing mean, was yeah. outrageous. They saw this really cool oil sign from the outside window, which is why we went in. And they, we were gonna get it, but the guy wanted like nine hundred. Nine hundred dollars. <laughs> They're like, no, there's gotta be a 
What just happened? Flip that switch again. Why did that happen? There was a. They had a gas. Oh. They had a gas pump, old gas pump, for, in there for sale. Yeah, I've always wanted to make a new pump in the ground and then plumb it through an old gas pump. So it looks like an old gas pump, but it's a new pump essentially. He wanted six thousand dollars for this thing, and I just, I just, you know what? I just couldn't do it. It was a little out of control. Have you ever been in Nebraska multiple times? Um, what Leatherman do you use? It is the. I order them Super in tool. bulk off of Amazon because it uses them constantly. Put it in the black case. It's a Super Tool 300. Did I tell you last time I ordered them? The guy limited me on how many I could order. Really? Yeah. Stinker. Okay, You're gonna fix your dad's 56. I would. Yes, I need to. It, it needs drive line work. Yeah. This is the Super Tool here, and then uh, you got of course. Plier, wire stripper, all the different screwdrivers. You got a knife, you got a serrated blade, you got file, you've got uh, actual saw, can openers, all that stuff. It's the most universal, I think, personally. I'm loving it. Does Burger King still have the steak fries? Or are they gone? Steak fries? Yeah, steak fries. I haven't eaten at Burger King in so long, so I don't know. Have you seen the sinkhole in the, in the parking lot? The Burger King? Here? In, in town? No, I don't think I've ever been to the Burger King here. This is from Conkle. I'm going to turn it this way so I can't see her. Yes. All right, there it is. Excuse me. What's going on? I'm trying to. Like, can you help me? No. That's good, buddy. Thank you. Oh, this can go away forever. Sorry about that, guys. What car do you miss the most that you sold? I don't know. I've sold some pretty good ones. 70, 71 Cheval, 67 Camaro. We got some West Virginia plates. They old Tony students. You know Tony. I have not driven a late model on dirt. I have not. Would love to. How's it going? Love the content. A feller just got out of work. Missed some. Any plans on with the black ramp truck? Oh, gosh. By, uh, Tux, so runner. Uh, black ramp. Yes, we're actually using. We've been using the snot out of that thing. Ramp truck. Yeah, mm -hmm. it needs rockers. It needs a hood. It needs a little paintwork. I'd love to get a 4L80 behind it. Um, this weekend, the kids are going to start loading up tree branches and stuff like that. It's going to be another episode coming to the lodge. I'm going to have them build a massive burn pile. We're going to have to get a burn permit, actually. Really. And we're going to be burning a bunch of brush and trees and things like that. Um, yeah. uh, wasn't the rear end like smoking that one time? Oh, I think, oh, yeah. I think Daddy was running her a little hard. Um, it was. <laughs> this is really cool. Look at what he sent with it. I'm just going to put this on. Don't hurt yourself. Huh? Don't hurt yourself. Oh, heavens, please. New, new oh, going to town jacket. Wait. Oh my. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ouch. Okay. Um, he sent, look at, because he's got his own. Yeah, but did you look at the jacket? I I can see it. I think everybody can see it. I just want to make sure you, you understand how important this is. Okay, easy. He's got a very nice. Grand National. I know it's so. Pretty. They look so good, shiny. Really well. Yeah, you're not used to that. I think that's his finger in front of the lens. Pretty sure. But he's got a really nice Nationals. Thank you, sir. Is this him here? This one. Someone just said we seem scripted. <laughs> yes, we are definitely yeah, reading this, a script. To this open is it. all. Um, 
there's directors. Yeah, prompts and, and, uh, everywhere. There's you prompters that we're reading because it's all <laughs> fake, made up. This is not real. Holy smokes, he just can't make everybody happy. Any update on the fake TikTok? No, we were talking about that today. Unfortunately, the fake TikTok are still gaining traction. I'm but... trying to get this guy's name to oh. say thank you. It was on the back of his note. I just can't read it. I think it's Nick. I think it's Keith. I think it's Keith. <laughs> Thanks, Keith. Um, we're not verified on the TikToks. So if you try to report the fake account, there's nothing you can select to say that this account is making fun of, or stealing this account. So just be aware that official underscore vice grip garage is the only TikTok accounts. The other one is, has been stealing all of our content and things of that nature. Uh, most challenging revival, I would say, is probably uh, Independence was had a lot of heartburn. Rocky was really tough. That was a really, that one was uh, really intense. Didn't you spend like two days in the garage with me on that one? On Rocky? It was more than that. It, it was, was your boys' birthday that weekend. It was the birthday, remember that? It, and it was bad. only supposed to be like half a day and I think three days later. Yeah, because it ended up being everything. Yeah. And there's, I'm sure there's been a couple other really tough ones. I just, we've, those are the ones that come to mind for sure. We've done so many mm -hmm. that it just, you know, Magnum V O O. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my God. I don't feel like you guys have to do that. That makes me feel honestly. terrible. Yeah. I appreciate what you're trying to do, but it makes me feel so bad. Thank you so much. Thank you. Awesome it, it content. It will definitely be a good cause. Comedic value alone is worth more than this. Well, thank you so much. You're. Thank you. You're bless right. you. Thank you so much. My family and I appreciate it a ton. Seriously. Uh, let's see. You're, oh, I'm sorry. I muffled my mic when I put the. Yeah, you're blocking the cool shirt, but. I mean. I don't know if they're that cool, but hey, <laughs> you put it on. You must like it. Bailey says, "Can't wait for the next season of Robbery the Rescues." We just wrapped episode five, mm -hmm. and that should start airing in August the fall. 29th. And this season two is so it's more difficult, bigger projects, and I've got um, some really cool people like Dirthead mm -hmm. Dave. We've got. Mm -hmm. Steve Dulcich, uh, just we're going to have a bunch of cool people on there. Yeah, I don't. I haven't been on this on the second season yet. I wasn't, uh, I'm not going to be using the Tic Tac. I'm not a Tic Tac user. The only reason we created an account was to get our fake account shut yeah. down. We need more little grip garage. Yes. Oh, he was going to come over and explain. Do you want to come around quickly? Oh, yeah. Do you want to come over here, buddy? Um, a lot of people are asking for updates on the go kart. Bentley can talk about that for a second. You just got to kind of repeat what you said earlier. What's going on with your go kart? Here, hold this to your mouth and talk. Uh, so the rocket thing for the live ask that we ordered the uh, chain that sits on the clutch doesn't fit on that. And our tires are three bolt, but the live ask was four bolt. So we ordered another one, and that one. Like the ends of it too big, it wouldn't fit into the tires, and then the sprocket was still too small. So we're trying to find like one that will fit perfectly. Yeah, we'll get it done. He's though. working on it, and he appreciates all your donations helping him out too. Um, he he's a lot of fun with that. So that's what's going on with Bentley. Um, we got. Let me check. Oh, thanks, buddy. Yeah, we're using it. We're definitely using it. Yeah, there are Bob's. They're not the laptop. This is the best. This is the best audio you're ever going to get. We're using a full professional I Pico system. I feel like people just like mess around with us and they can't hear us because it used to be the joke like in the early days. Yeah, they must. Um, someone asked about the OBS ramp truck. Boy, I sold that like four years ago, I think. Um, Which one? The red. Remember the tool truck? Oh, yeah. Um, Beats? 
Yeah. I forgot about that. I love that. I love that truck, but it needed gears and I just didn't have the ambition at the time to put gears in the front and rear of that truck because it was a four speed with the granny and I was driving an hour one way to the shop mm -hmm. every day. And I just got tired of 3,300 RPM at 55 yeah. and the fuel mileage was terrible. Um, so we, we dumped her. Jimmy says, has, I, I've seen him a couple times. Cassie, Madison, and Lawson say hi. Hello to you. Hello. And thanks for hanging out with us tonight. How goes it? Um, Pete Grabost, thank you so much. I appreciate it a ton. Some more people said they like the shirts. Put the hats back in stock. Yes, um, they are coming. There is a couple other hats on there. There's like a new gray fitted hat that we have that is in stock. But definitely the original black ones will be back um, as soon as possible. They're working on them right now. So I'm just keep checking back if you guys want those. Uh, Dom says, what are your plans for Liberty? That is going to be our new drag and drive car. Mm -hmm. It has this really cool thing called a frame. <laughs> and apparently it like holds the vehicle together. So that's pretty neat. Man, I had so much fun. We took that to the eighth mile, if you guys saw that. Dang thing pulls the wheel off the ground. And uh that's what I think it is. Is there another part in the box? So we're gonna make that our you know permanent drag and drive car. It's gonna be nice. I don't think we're gonna do anything crazy with it. The only thing we have to decide is do we wanna wrap it and protect the paint? or just to see um, or just leave it the way it is so we could see the that paint was from the 90s and things like that something like that it's refreshing to see such polite kids kudos to you guys mm -hmm. high five good job boys no we really do have good this kids other dude Tim Tones to the ball can opener that looks exactly like that oh, one. Yeah. oh funny i wonder if you can there's a site or something you can you are right yeah. google webs them Oh, let's see. BGG cowboy hat. That would be really cool. My name is Curtis Park. I'm a huge fan of the show. I'm reaching out to you because my wife and I run a small cutting and graving business. That seems to be a popular... Yeah. Which is great. I love That's that there's cool. so many people doing things out of their house or their garage or their shop. This guy. I'm going to bring this under. BGG bottle opener. Would you guys be interested in something like this? These fellers can make, you know, I just, I would, would be great to help people out if we can buy them from these guys and get them to you guys. I don't know. Bleep boop it. Yeah. Pretty large. The only thing is like keychain wise. Guy will wear some Levi's. Eh? <laughs> do, 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 is this do. Yes. Yeah, he did this stuff out. Yeah. Going through here. Uh, da, 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 da. How illegal are the vehicles you drive home? They're not illegal. I drive, never drive anything without insurance, and I never will. I never intend on hurting anybody else, nor if, if something like that did happen. Um, they would be fully insured because that's I'm not going to have that on my conscience. I would not be willing to drive something very illegal or extremely illegal uh, just for a YouTube video. So there's your answer. I think someone was asking 347,000 times and someone else said that I was avoiding it. So <laughs> there you go. <laughs> How's the process on the burnout truck? It's slow. Man, we are deep in the digitals on that thing right yeah. now. Um, you know, not getting around the hottest right now, but we're going to try to poke around a little bit on it here. It's working. I it can is. see the levels right here. Oh. Uh, but we hope to have it done for Indy. High mileage engine treatments. Let's see what we got here. I think I'll sell a coffee cup sometime. We have two coffee tumblers on the website right now. Yeah. The flannels, we might have to change the flannels because we we spend way too much getting those directly from Wrangler because they're mm -hmm. really high quality product. Again, we don't want to, I don't want to sell a jacket that's junk and that could be tough. 
And I've worn mine in the field for years. Yeah, and, and they, they, they really laugh. do laugh. Problem is, we're a peon to Wrangler. They just, we don't buy enough to even be on the radar. So we're thinking about potentially switching companies and getting a different flannel company to work with us. Mm -hmm. um, that would be willing to be able to keep a consistent stock for you yeah. guys because it's really, really tough um, to just keep them you know, around. They, they go really fast. And we appreciate you guys buying them. They really are an awesome, awesome flannel. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Are you saying VGG monster truck? I don't think I could. I don't that. think we can afford that. That would be awesome though. Monster truck is on my is on my list of must do's at some point. Who did this come from? Did we get a name off that box? That one right there? Pay attention. TX7. This guy wants me to try this. I've never Can seen I this see before. It? Oh, it's from Ryan. Is that no, him? no, it's from Ryan. Uh, thanks for the TX7. I've never seen this stuff. I'm going to look into it. Polydyne revitalizes your engine. <laughs> we'll give it a whirl. Mm -hmm. um, guy says, after so many revivals, are you interested in a restoration? It actually went the other way. I did full builds and restorations mm -hmm. and got absolutely hammered, burnt out on it. Just, oh, then my stress reliever was throwing together cars really quick, uh, just willy nilly making rat rods and hot rods. Mm -hmm. And then I started to really enjoy cars again and just, put them on the road and just save them you know and not spend the two years doing a restoration so will i ever do one maybe but if i did i think it would just be something for myself or my wife um i would much rather just get cars 80 percent of the way in and enjoy them and send them down the road this is from g mcduff you know g mcduff yeah, the El Camino was a pain. I forgot about the carbon monoxide poisoning. <laughs> I was so bummed to get rid of that one. And there was a lot of work. I mean, we did brakes and carb rebuild. and the, I think that was probably the number one. We pulled a rocker stud. Yeah. I had to walk like 75 miles to the parts store. And then I had to walk down the interstate to find the clutch ball. That you, was a you, mess. You were on the phone with me when that happened. Yeah. That was uh, that was another one supposed to be like, sweetie, I'll be back in three days. It was like, like eight days later. It <laughs> was a trip. Yeah, that's another thing a lot of people don't realize that want revivals every three days, is it takes months to find the right vehicle, find the right seller, agree to circumstances, get the flights and the motels and the rentals and the tools and the parts. All of the stars have to align, and then you got to go there. Then you got to spend a week getting the car running and hopefully back home. But then you got to edit the thing. Mm -hmm. So we've got weeks and weeks and weeks into each revival. And then end of day, they sit in a tree row if we don't start building them. So yep. look at all these beautiful plates. That's cool. I don't know if we have any in Mexico. Well, it's Mexico, but it's a new one. They're kind of side by side. Yeah. It's a thing. Oh, we snuck into Texas. This is like a whole driver's side floor. Has anyone um, noticed that we painted the walls? I don't think so. So this guy has 36 Chevy, 51 Ford, 70 Ford, 76 Ford, 86 Chrysler. Wow. Body panel repair kits. Thank you, Glenn. I will absolutely 100% be using those. Watch out, kitty cat. can't believe he's actually out here. Yes. Have you ever been to the GS National in Bowling Green, Kentucky? I have not. I don't know what they would think or feel if we rolled in on the Bland National. That would be kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> they would probably be like, like we need to. stop driving it and fix it. But uh, it's just the way it is. Yeah. Boys, if you're going to roughhouse, go upstairs, please. 
We got a bunch of stuff. Eric Snidgowski. You said it. You're crazy. Oh! That was heavy. There's a knife in my foot. What's happening? Oh. Well, I was trying to help you out. It did not go as planned. I just took a whole rack of sparkulators to the, you know what. These are 43 TSs. Boy, it's getting hot in here. Turn this down, boys, would you? Is that what's on the leg? Yeah. Got you a hat. Put that on. No. I'm definitely going to put this on. Oh, wow. This is a Peterson. This is a, a re legit vice grip. The old school, the good ones. Uh, let's see. This guy says monster truck is on everyone's bucket list. Yeah. Have I ever done stand up comedy? Well, Every day on YouTube, <laughs> essentially. Basically, I have to like pretty much every day. I try to make her laugh every day so she doesn't get bored with me. So oh my gosh! I'm practicing routines in the mornings and executing. The, no, I've never done it, and I think I would fail miserably. This is cool. How's it neat? New symbol of quality in America. It's like a, a Olympic medallion. Is it a Christmas ornament? Looks like it. This is a Christmas ornament, I think. You didn't realize that? No, I thought it was an Olympic medallion. Well, I mean, I would wear it if it was a big gold chain. Like, you can them out when you buy. Like, do you look at this making huge I mean, medallions to wear on your neck? <laughs> I mean, help me out, guys. You'd wear medallions to say Buick on them, oh wouldn't you? Oh, my gosh. There's the eye roll. See? <laughs> Knew it. Well, it's like cotton. Oh, man. Oh, man. Idiot. We, uh, you know, something that's interesting. I'll boop, pan that up because I got to answer this quick. Carrie Setzer, $20. Thank you so much. Miss you at Bradenton the first time this year, but still pulling for you. Thank Aww. you. We had a lot of fun at Bradenton. Um, Engage is like a speech. Oh Remember that movie? Yes. Oh, no, but I remember saying that all the time. Um, where, you keep messing my brain up. You there is another YouTuber. What's those YouTubers that do a show now? Like they rent like a school gym and then they sell tickets and then they do like a show on Dude, the, perfect. Is yeah, that what Dude, it is? Perfect. What do they do? Like trick shots and stuff. Trick shots on um, like, like they throw tennis balls at each other's face or something? No, or? like it's like they do like challenges and yeah, trick like shots challenges. and stuff. Like on the stage. Like rocket battles or like some just challenges. And so I wonder if we like chop wood and sharpen knives and like revved up an engine on an engine stand. If we could just get a group of folks together in some old school gymnasium and have some fun. Don't you have fun now? Well, yeah. I'm just saying, if we could chop wood okay. with our friends, why would we not do that? Okay. Any motorcycles? We talked about this a little bit ago. Um, we would want to do motorcycles, I think. I asked you guys if you wanted to do the motorcycles, and then you said, yes, let's do the motorcycles. So I think we're going to do some. Who is this from? Did you lose the name already? Oh, my gosh. This one? Whoa! Tell <laughs> got a gift. Tell <laughs> got a gift. It's from Eric. Eric. We should put Delta this. Let's put this in our bathroom. We're doing a very farmhouse, industrialish, man caveish bathroom. I don't know if Jessica fully approves of my decor, but we we'll get it. I right. love the decor. I don't like the colors. Silverado. Made of tornadoes and horse spit. They're tough. Ooh, look at this. An original Buick Sample. Mm -hmm. Well, they're defining luxury in America. Mm. What are they for? Well, you put your owner documents. That's a somewhere. wallet for your pocket, Derek. Look at this. <laughs> look how beautiful That's this sweet. is. They give you the chairman of the board, the president. The history of the Buick Oath. 
you buy a Buick, you get the whole shebang. This is really cool. Really cool. Thank you for this. Are you are you sleeping? What's going on? You here? Here I am. I feel like I've been talking a lot and you've just been making fun of me. So do you want to switch for a while? I don't want you to make fun of me, no. And then you talk? Oh. Well, what is this? Oh. Oh. oh, that was from the same people. Yeah, that's cute. Well, they're show little, them. They're little, little fellers. Oh. Sell it. Merry Christmas, my fellow family, to yours. That's cute. Love that. There you go. This is really careful with that stuff. Too. It's like suede or something. That's adorable. We'll pin this up. Uh, what toolkit do I use? Honest to earth, I use Pittsburgh. To, I use. A, I have a speed tools kit that i fly with because it's fly ready but i think i lost it if i'm being honest otherwise pittsburgh it drives my friends crazy because i have tool boxes that don't have tools in them and then i just fold out a pittsburgh tool case on the ground and then that's the tools that mm -hmm. that we use if you open this last one that's here, that's out here and then i'll have to say maybe the rest for sure the next time yeah. or do you want to do more no i think we've been we've been running wild here and we got to get the kids to bed here shortly yeah, yeah it's tap you guys sent a tap and we haven't opened it and you're waiting um what i was trying to give you like dramatic music oh while you were yeah talking. didn't go well oh but anyway <laughs> <laughs> um, we will try to do another live again soon and get to the rest of the mail. There's just so much. I'm going to keep you guys for hours and hours and hours. So let me get to this last one. Yes. Do you want to open it, my dear? Go for it. Okay. I was tricked Jessica at Christmas. Gentlemen, take notes. I'll get her like a giant box and I'll put like nuts in it and plumber fittings and sparkulators and then i'll put another box with like marbles and a rock and then put that inside of a box of like leaves with a sock all the way down to what is probably just a gift card to like a coffee shop or something like that it really she really enjoys that at six o'clock in the morning christmas morning <laughs> He thinks he's so clever, but every single package I pick up now, I'm like, oh, I know there's eight boxes inside here. <laughs> he does it every time. Yeah. Half done outdoors. That's awesome. Congratulations on your YouTube channel. I wish you a lot of success. Oh, let's see. Thank you guys for hanging out this Friday night. This was fun. I'm glad we did this. I know. We've been trying to do it for so long and just never worked out. We've been on the go so much. We keep talking. We gotta sit down and hang out with our peoples. Well, you got a straw, baby. You know, I'm not much a fan of the strawberries. <gasps> Tioga and D. We used to wrestle there. There can just whip or snap. Well, we have recently been going to an apparent song. We came across this box of goodies. We thought of you right away. Look closely at the labels on the items. Hope you enjoy. Is well, there a video you. tonight? You're watching it. Okay. Oh, we've got a Corvette. All right. They said that you have to look closely at the label. Okay. I'm going to look super close. I don't have a key to get in. Is there a key? I don't have a key. I don't have a key to get in. Okay. To my defense, the latch was... You never... Just this show. Okay. The latch is locked. You and there's a key. Well, I didn't. Everybody knows. No. I, I guarantee everybody knows. Everybody I almost, watching knows. I almost just got out my fire and <laughs> oh my God. really got down on this thing. Oh, wow. Oh, Lord. Okay. Well, let me just. <laughs> we got some eight tracks. <laughs> this is going to be good. <laughs> we got Steely Dan, America. We got uh, Golden Aaron, Neil Young. Sutherland Brothers, Electric Ace. Yep, sorry, Derek. We all knew how to open that latch. Oh, <laughs> how embarrassing! <laughs> hearsay, hearsay. <laughs> I think 
we would have all been confused. No, you're, okay. You're definitely the only one. <laughs> uh, let's see. We got Kenny Loggins. And we got the Man has Vision the Orchestra live with Pink Floyd. Daddy Cool Ringo, more Pink Floyd. What Pink car? Floyd. Oh, right. oh a... let's throw this in the Lasandre because oh, it's got an oh, eight track. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Here you go, buddy. You getting tired, little dude? Yeah. 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 You don't have to do any more. You guys want to do hands, please, face? No. We're going to shut oh, it down. They don't want to go to bed, but they're tired. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Well, friends, I think we're going to go I'm ahead. Answer a couple questions. Yeah, let's do questions. You're right. A couple questions and then. You're right. I'm, I apologize. First and foremost, thank you guys for joining us tonight on this beautiful yeah. Friday evening. You could be doing something else like the Netflixes or the Hulus or whatever. You know, there's just nothing good on those there's shows not. anymore. Here's something that'd be fun. And you. Okay. We were watching a show. We, we're out of shows on netflix we like action murder mystery westerns um you know anything that has like drama and twists most yeah. importantly has more than four episodes and then they're done if you guys know anything because i am laid up and i need to watch some tvs you let me know otherwise she gets into them and i can catch the tail end of them and summarize everything in three minutes but um you know, like some of the shows we just watch like five minutes and you're like, oh, he's a murderer. And that's, oh, yeah, because yeah, I'm like a detective and I can figure it out pretty quickly. Yellowstone, I think we've been through we're that one. Through, yeah, we said Yellowstone. Rabbit Hole, two people. Longmire, that is why we named my truck Longmire. Yeah. We were totally into that. We liked truck that truck and it reminded us of Longmire. So, yeah. Collier AMC was really cool. Uh, Doug was a super nice guy. There's unfortunately 95% of those cars are about just gone. They're taken back to the earth. But it was a really it was really cool to be there. It was awesome to hear the history story and the family about how his father was, you know, the guy who was a mechanic and a salesman and everything, a tow truck driver. And then we're getting all kinds of suggestions. Justified. Shorzy. Blacklist we've seen. Like that. Wednesday we watched. Bloodline we watched. Eighteen eighty three was good. We did watch that too, yeah. What's his face is not looking so good though. Goodness gracious. Oh. You know the What's his name? Got it. You know the I got it. What's his name? I don't know, but if you're talking about I can't remember his name. No, you know his name. Yeah. Peaky Binders. We tried to watch that, and I got so darn confused. Well, no, here's the thing. We went to like the, we got to like the first four seasons, I think, but then there was such a long pause from like the next season that we were totally lost, and then we just couldn't get back into it, so we kind of gave up on. Yeah, that, that was super confusing. Letter <sighs> Kenny. I liked Letter Kenny for like the first two ish seasons, and then it just got really dumb. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't watch it anymore. Hey. That's going to cost you. That's going to cost you. You know, baking video. I know. I I feel like every time I, do it, I tell you guys there's another video coming on, on this channel. But I guess I was me out to be a liar, and I apologize about that. We just got so busy, and Thanks for I just never have time to just take the time to make a video for you guys. But I will. I promise I will. Well, we got some. Don't we got some holidays coming up? Definitely not. Oh. It's April. Oh, July. Hey, should we do another 4th of July? We, we did 4th of July. That in was fun, yeah. What, maybe not last year, but the year before? I think it was even So July. if you guys want to watch me ruin like $40 of meat on a barbecue grill and shoot a bunch of fireworks and get every piece of equipment we own stuck in the yard and chase around a yard fire, <laughs> let us know. We can do a 4th of July I feel video. like you have to put a fire out every single 4th of July Yeah, I at guess. some point. I think it's a little dicey. Sometimes. Every time. Harrison Ford, thank you. Yes, that's his name. All right. He was looking. Man. Yeah. Oh, you, I, it is what it is. All right. You guys got some questions? Anything about, you know, Vice Grip Garage or Vice Grip Lodge or even Roadworthy Rescues? Oh, excuse me. Goodness gracious. 
We had make your own pizza tonight. Mm -hmm. I might have went a little heavy on the jalapenos. Oof. Fourth of July live stream. That would be fun. Oh, that would be that would be really fun. Mm. Yeah, yeah, how do you do that though? I don't. I don't even know. What are your plans with independence? Great question. So independence is definitely going to be around. Um, we're thinking about turning it into a streetcar. But it's going to be a lot of work to undo a lot of things that we do to undo the other dues. Uh, but we're going to get there. It's a staple on our stable, yep. and I think it will absolutely always be until our very last chapter. Yep. Roadworthy Rescues is definitely getting a season two. We just wrapped the fifth episode. Mm -hmm. um, sixth is coming up. A nice variety of vehicles, some deeper builds because we're getting um, – we, we've always had really good – you know my brothers and and this year we've got david chappelle and, and uh, dulcich and there's a lot more to go so we're trying to you know stay to my roots with some american muscle cars and classic cars but just kind of do some different or interesting builds and i think you guys are gonna like it and that starts august 29th right mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Well, let's see what is your go-to move when you get frustrated you know honestly it's just put the tools down and walk outside and just drink it in. Whether it's a sunset or a sunrise yeah. or just fresh air or just, wow, I woke up today. You know, and just yeah. start thinking about everything that you should be thankful for, which we all have. No matter how bad you think your life is, I can guarantee you, you should be thankful. Perspective. There are a lot of other people far worse off than yep. all of us here. That's for sure. Is the AC working in the shop? We haven't had to run it yet. It's been like just like perfect weather lately. Yeah. And I know that's going to come to an end soon, but it's been like high 70s, low 80s ish, but then cool enough in the evenings and nights that it's like probably 50s in the shop in the morning. So yeah. it's been perfect. Yeah, it's we haven't really had to, we've run the heat a few times and mm -hmm. it worked incredibly well. Yes. Um, but otherwise, it's floating right in the middle. Thank goodness. Um, we're a little nervous about the power bill for sure but yeah. if i can get one more day of productivity out of myself by running the heat yeah you know could pay off or at least that's what i'm you know telling her uh, let's see can i work on the scout some more yeah um we did a killer jeep on roadworthy rescues you guys are really going to like that um, the scout should come back i'd love to put rockers into that and just get the dash instruments working and a speedometer and mouse it so Jessica will ride in it. I ride in it right now. What are you talking about? What is my favorite tool? Vice grip. Let's see. How's your son Camaro? Are we going to see another video? Yes, it needs a steering column right now, but you will see that Camaro again. Flugman 50. Geez, thank you so much. Holy cow. Um, I appreciate you a ton. Well, these are moving pretty quick now. Yeah, it's been really fast. How do the speed travel tools get lost? Saw them with Robbie Gordon. I think I put them in a trunk of a vehicle that a friend borrowed. I'm pretty positive that's where they're at. Yeah, we just haven't had to uh, had time to check. Oh, like man sent that for a little grip, he said. Oh, awesome. You say thank you, buddy? Thank you. He said thank you. I don't know if you heard him. He's, that was sweet. He's the guy running the, the um, teleprompter. Yeah, the, the, all the, the scripts. scripts. <laughs> Here. Will we be in Indy for Cletus cars? We yes, I think we will be. Uh, yes, that's three weeks. Yeah, we should, we'll be there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Chad and Hillary are coming. We're gonna be there. Oh, cool. Uh, need to do more Mopars. Yep, uh, got some plans to do some really cool stuff with some Mopars. Probably right before Mo Party, which is in September. 17th, 19th? I think you're, I think you're doing the party now. Oh. Hmm. Pretty sure. Well, I have the plans. I have the plans to do the, the Mopars. Um, if you want to see our schedule, you can go to vicegripgarage.com and click on schedule. It is fairly dang updated now. Yes. Yeah. Uh, can you make roadworthy rescues longer? Unfortunately, I can't. That is the standard length of any TV show in the world. 44 minutes. Um, <laughs> our cat, cat just tried to jump on the couch and did a backflip. 
Oh, it's getting a little hefty. Um, so television shows are shot for 44 minutes, every television show. So, cause then they have to add in commercial breaks and everything that the network carries. So I can't make it longer. Um, all I can tell you, it is the hardest five days that I can possibly put into a car. We, and there's no fake, there's no scripts, there's no drama. It is what it is. And I just bust my butt and they have to trim that up, unfortunately, to get to the 44 minutes uh, to air it on TV. It's just, yeah. it's just the way that it goes. That's a bummer because you do work really, really, really hard. I know. On those episodes and you guys don't get to oh, see that. Doug made a good point. The cats are also in the script. Oh, yeah. 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 That we we put, plan that. They're, uh, they're in a cage with like treats and yeah. then they swing in from ropes. Yeah. And then we dub in the <laughs> cat noises automatically. Mm -hmm. when the, from our script, there's a button there. I've never seen there. him do that before, though. That was too funny. <laughs> I just never noticed. <laughs> I didn't hear that. Sometimes yeah, he forgets he doesn't have front claws, I don't think. Oh. Land Speed Racing will be on VGG. I think so. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, the networks could definitely get, I mean, they could get five episodes out of uh, Road Rarity Rescues. Absolutely. But the, the thing is, um, they've done a lot of studies and tests, and people that actually watch Linear want, they don't want the longer. Like, we're, we're the exception, the VGG Nation, which is awesome, but yeah. we're kind of the exception. Most people want to go, crap car oh they're doing this hammer oh he's bleeding oh he's sweating hey it's pain and now it's great and shiny and done and they get it like this um the 10 percent of people watching go wow i would watch this car get built in real time mm -hmm. but it's i just don't think that'll ever that's why we're going to continue to do the youtube forever yep because we can do it at our own pace i'd love to have my brothers in more episodes i think we can do that um did not find anybody to help at the shop yeah. yet. I love the two-hour revivals, too. 777 car is doing really good. Uh, we do plan to go to North Dakota. We like to go up there every year. In fact, we might be there for 4th of July, maybe. Potentially. Potentially-ish. I have some Whopper revivals up there saved up that uh, we could do something with, hopefully. A to Z tactical. Have you ever thought of spending a day? Whoop! It just done disappeared. Hang on. With a fan to do a revival with their project. Yep. I absolutely know. thought about it. You'll see it soon. Um, thank you. I could re release some behind the scenes from Roadworthy. Um, but the thing is, I am so incredibly busy. I can't even. I just don't have the capacity to like pick my phone up and I mean it's it I, I wish like you guys don't understand how hard he honestly works on those on those episodes it's wild like we're talking like 7 a.m to like sometimes 1 2 a.m a few hours of sleep and he's back at it it's just it's brutal it's it's very very intense it's very long days on ours and uh he just really doesn't have time. Yeah. And maybe if I could start being more mindful <laughs> of it. I will say there's a Roadworthy Rescues Insta letter. Excuse me. Okay. Instagram account that has a lot of behind the scenes photos. In fact, they're my photos or um, the photos that our photographers have taken that I'm actually posting. So if you want to see those, you can check them out. I think it's the Roadworthy Rescues show. I think so. on Instagram. Instagram. Um, tattoo on the arm says we the people. Uh, that was, I think that's like six hours in the chair total, something like that. Oh, let's see. If I gave you a Model T, would you come get it in Canada? I guess it, well, he, the, the problem, yes, I guess, but, and thank you, that's extremely kind. It would get stuck at the border. It, we, there's a, I haven't figured out the process, but visa v vice ver getting vehicles over or back with you have to have significant documentation. I think it might be easier going from Canada to the U.S., but I know like 
Rich, Rich and Aaron, when they got have that. had so much difficulty mm -hmm. getting vehicles back into Canada that they end up like abandoning them for months until they get the certain paperwork, yeah, and documents. But let me look into that more. Um, I would love to have a Model P. I think a Model T road trip would be epic. What do the kids say? Fire, fire, dynamite, it would slap, or, or yeah. it's busted. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Bicecriptbroad to gmail.com. Send that over. Let's take a look at it. Biggest car show you've ever been to? Back to the 50s at the uh, state fairgrounds in Minneapolis, mm -hmm. Minnesota. I think there was like 30 or 40,000, 50,000, more than that. So many. I can't. Participant remember. cars, not spectators. <clears throat> uh, but we are going to the Iola car show in Wisconsin this year. And that is supposed to be just as big, if not bigger. Mm -hmm. And it's any make and model. Back to the 50s is very specific Yeah. Uh, year-wise. Yep. Elizabeth, I am self-taught as a mechanic. Yes, I am. OK. Well, we've almost gone three hours. I think this is our longest live ever. Uh, the General Lee, thank you so much. Whatever happens, 777. It's at my friend Andy's house. It's being cut apart and caged and modified. We had to take the floors and everything out of it. It will be coming back to the shop, but I don't want to take credit for work that I'm not doing. Yeah. So I haven't, you know, I would feel awful having him film stuff and then me put it on the channel because I'm I'm never one to say that I did that when I didn't. Is that yeah. Caroline? That's terrible. Um, <laughs> but when we get the car back, Yes, then I'll start putting it on the channel and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, well, I think that's going to do it for us. We have got to get our children to bed. It is late for them. Time to brush some teeth and wash some faces and hands. Yep. Read some books. So thank you guys yes. so much for all of your support, for watching, for liking, for subscribing, for telling people about the show. Yeah. Uh, it's, Just hanging out with us is so much fun. We enjoy this a lot, honestly. And Please know that we there's not a minute that goes by that we're not extremely grateful. It's it's very humbling to be mm -hmm. in our position, and we just we really appreciate all of you, wherever you may be. Yep. Uh, so thank you so much, and we will see you next Friday. Um, we'll have some sort of video. Don't you worry. We'll always have something over at Bicecript Garage. And if you haven't subscribed to Bicecript Lodge, please do. I have three or four videos that just got finished editing and we'll be popping those up here. So thank you guys. Have a good night. Bye. Want to say bye, boys? Bye. bye. Thank you for watching. <laughs>